What's going on guys? It is your G Squid here and welcome to another zombie challenge here in my summer of zombie challenges massacre marathon primed and today guys First of all, I definitely would like to uh, apologize I guess for these last um, Literally almost week of videos like the Fortnite videos with Calibri were good um, But that was pretty much it and the Shinonuma reborn video was was boring But I, I still beat the challenge three days ago and that was the last challenge I actually beat because two days ago I attempted the Archon Easter egg for the second time failed it hour 45 minute stream Yesterday I attempted the Archon Easter egg for the third time Failed it. Two hour, two two hours and forty five minute stream. I only went in the boss fight once in that entire amount of time. I shouldn't have even continued. I shouldn't even play it anymore because I just didn't want to anymore. So I am not going to be doing Vanguard today because I'm just not good apparently at doing things back to back. Uh, it's exactly what happened with Shaolin. I did better on my first attempt of Shaolin than I did in my second one. And for like the Archon, I literally did better in my first and second attempt than I did yesterday on the map so i don't understand exactly what's going on with that but yeah it's crazy how i went from a five day incredible streak beat the dead of the night easter egg first attempt papped every gun on space land in one game got to round 41 with snipers only on nuketown got to round 61 on final reich papped every gun in one game on origins you know like i don't know how i beat those five challenges in a row which are which are like I don't know if they're easier than Easter eggs per se, but they're certainly not easy. You know, they're certainly not easy. These Easter eggs might be harder, but the fact that I've failed both maps twice in in four days and five days is disgusting. All right, so anyways, let's spin the wheel and see what we have for today's challenge. And then, yeah, so if I do get Shaolin, though, today, I am going to do it. I'm not doing a two-box or box roulette or high round. It's going to give me... Wow! <laughs> Of course, of course it would give me this. Of course, dude. Of course. It gave me the Beast from Beyond snipers only. Now, if that sounds weird, it's because it is weird. Because guess what? I don't think I'm going to do that today because I just don't want to. But um, I, I got to show you something. Okay, guys? I got to show you something funny. Okay? So, the Beast from Beyond was, the only challenge I'm doing on it was, this summer, of course, was the Pack-A-Punch Challenge. Trying to pack every gun in one game on Beast from Beyond. That is not happening after today. I actually practiced earlier today, five hours ago. I practiced. Um, and let me just, this gameplay will speak for itself, okay? Let me just show you why I'm not gonna ever do a, uh, probably ever do a pap challenge on this match. So let me show you. So, round 22, flawless up until this point, of course, because I'm a good player. So, flawless right here. And then, how do you think I die? Watch this. Watch this, dude. Remember, I'm not playing Shaolin Shuffle here. I'm playing Beast from Beyond. And watch how this happens. Watch this. So, end of the round, I think there's only one zombie left. And then a ninja spawns in. I empty my entire mag. And then it doesn't kill the ninja. And then the ninja hits me once. And I die. Or, no. Ninja hits me once. And then hits me twice. And I die. Two hits. Let me rewind that. Just so you guys, just so you know right here why Beast from Beyond is now in my top five least favorite maps of all time look at this two hits and let me rewind it again what perk do i have at the bottom of the screen what's my second perk guys what is my second perk oh that's right jug aka tough enough jug people and then get this <laughs> that wouldn't even be the worst thing by the way i thought the ninjas kill you in two hits without jug no actually i didn't think that i know that but then the ninja kills me in two hits with jug uh-huh so then Guess what happens after this? So, again, I go back, like on any other map, I would just be able to go buy my perks back again. And especially on any IW map, there's a little period, a grace period, when you return to the map from the Afterlife Arcade, when you spawn back in, there's a grace period, at least on solo, for when the zombies spawn in again. Not with ninja zombies. So, watch this. Um, oh, so, here's the thing. Uh, if this was on Shaolin Shuffle, things would have been a little bit different because I would have actually spawned in the same spot. But on this map, for some unknown reason, you spawn sometimes, a lot of the time for me, here. And you know what perk is right here, guys? To my to my left, I guess, in this, to my right when I spawn? Dead Eye Dewdrops. 
And there's also Mule Munchies and Racing Stripes and Quickies. Not Quick Revive or Jug. Why does it spawn me literally on the other side of the map when I spawn in and I have nothing, of course, because I need to get to the Lost and Found? I don't understand this map. I don't know what the heck they were thinking genuinely so watch this guys so again i turn around because this is the quickest way even though this portal doesn't take me directly to jug or spawn um the one that takes you directly to spawn is actually the one i'm pretty sure it's at the screen in the theater okay pretty sure it's that portal oh no it's not actually it's the one by racing stripes that takes you straight to spawn right by the m.2187 okay the model on the uh, uh it's the wall gun and uh yeah so again like i said on any other map Zombies in this game, you have a grace period when you spawn back in. You have a grace period, like 30 seconds at least, before zombies spawn in again. Yeah, watch how quick ninja zombies spawn in. Watch this, guys. Watch this. One ninja zombie, by the way. Watch this. Watch this. Because I can't do anything, so look at this. Look at the ninja is already spawned in. Right there. See? Already spawned in. Literally had like a five second grace period, which obviously you can't do anything in that amount of time. And watch this, guys. Watch how quick the ninja spawns in in the normal map. Watch this. So I have, I buy this gun, and it does a grand total of nothing to the ninja. Watch this. Teleports. Comes right there. Kills me in two hits without jug. Remember, killed me in two hits with jug before. Mm hmm. Can I just. Genuinely, round of applause for the Beast from Beyond, people. Round of applause. I played this map earlier today. I am not forcing myself to play it again. And that's why I said I am not doing the pat challenge on Beast from Beyond. I'll do a snipers only on it till 36 or maybe even... No, honestly, I probably wouldn't even go to 41. It'll probably just be 36 because I don't... I hate that map. I genuinely despise the Beast from Beyond. Now, anyways, let's spin the wheel. Give me... Ah, an Easter egg. What do we got here? It's gonna give me the five high round. I am not doing that today. Yeah, these challenges I have left on this thing at on this wheel are just the most difficult challenges I have ever done in my entire life. Easily. Uh Forsaken High Round, maybe tomorrow, if I beat or whenever I beat another challenge. Okay. And it's gonna give me the Archon Easter egg. Yep, not doing that three days in a row just to fail it and die instantly in the boss fight twice. Not doing that. What's it going to give me this time? It's going to give me the Zombies in Spaceland Easter Egg. Um, okay. I could do that. I, I, I definitely, I certainly could do that. But here's the thing. I'm not. I'm only going to do... I think I'm only going to do Shaolin Shuffle today. I honestly think I'm just going to give myself Shaolin Shuffle. Oh, it gave me the Buried Pack-A-Punch Challenge, which would be a good challenge if I actually wanted to do it right now. But genuinely, the only thing I want to do right now is beat Shaolin Shuffle. That's it. That is it, people. That is the only thing I want to do right now. Ah, uh, why am I even wasting time? The wheel's probably not going to give me Shaolin. Yep, it's going to go past it every single time. Every time, dude. DE Box Roulette, we will do that in a few days after I actually complete a good challenge right here. I'm not doing a high round until I beat an Easter egg, okay? Not doing it. So come on, man. Ah, right, you know what? You know what? Nope. Nope. The only thing I want to do right now, because I don't want to do the Archon again today, the only thing I'm doing is Shaolin Shuffle, okay? I didn't even wait for the wheel to give me it. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to wait for the wheel to give me a random thing, but when you fail freaking four out of five challenges in a row, guys, you start getting really, really desperate and start getting really, really annoyed, okay? I have to beat one of these challenges that I keep failing, and I'm going for this again. I don't even care. I genuinely do not care, dude. I'm gonna give it everything I got today. I'm gonna give it all I got, man. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play this very, very smart, and the game better not glitch out on me. If I down with the eye like it did in the second attempt, and I better not have to keep restarting because if I do, then it ain't gonna go too well today. 19 viewers on IW, which is um, only four more than COD 4 has, and only six more than World of War has. Vanguard actually has more viewers. World War 2 has 19. BO6 has eight viewers. Okay, so Ghost has seven viewers. AW has 11. All right, so guys, yeah, I gotta beat one of these challenges. I really, really truly truly do and i am streaming late i did say yesterday when i was raging i raged a lot yesterday dude but can you blame me you would too um so yeah i 
uh, when I was raging yesterday, I did say towards the end that I didn't care how much sleep I was going to get. I was going to stream early in the morning tomorrow, you know, as soon as I wake up or whatever. Uh, and I didn't do that because I, I went to bed at five again last night and um, ah, just slept in and didn't uh, didn't stream early. I was like, you know, I'm just going to stream later. And that was my choice. So here I am now. And uh, hopefully I can actually do something now. huh? Hopefully, guys, hopefully. But yeah, tomorrow I do really, really have to stream. Like, I don't just want to stream early in the morning. I have to. I have to because I have to fix this sleep schedule. So I played earlier, like I said. I, you know, Beast from Beyond till around 22. You saw how that went. Freaking garbage map. Like, genuinely trash map. And it really, it really pains me, too, because I actually wanted to attempt the PAP challenge on the map. I'm not doing it because of the ninja zombies, for one. And for two, the big reason, actually... Well, the ninja zombies are the biggest problem with the map, but the the second biggest issue is the Venom X is way too hard to get because you can't even get it from the box, and second reason is I'm pretty sure the Entangler is also a wonder weapon on the map, and I don't know how to get that, and I've tried getting the Venom X multiple times when practicing Beast from Yon. I can't get it because you can't get it from the wheel unless you have Director's Cut. Which is completely and utterly brain dead, but that's how most of the Easter eggs in this game, or most of the Wonder Weapons in this game are. Um, you actually have to do a quest to get them, which is extremely, extremely dumb. It really annoys me. Like, I still have never used the Wonder Weapons on a Shaolin Shuffle, because you have to do the Easter egg to get them. I'm positive you do. Even the Nunchucks, I'm pretty positive you have to do the Easter egg. The Katana, I know you have to do the Easter egg to get. So, yeah, it's just, it's just terrible, man. I hate having to do annoying processes like just put the wonder weapon let us be able to get it by doing a quest and then also allow us to get it from the box I don't see why developers don't do that like it's literally the best of both worlds you can't complain about it being so heavily reliant on RNG if you could just get it from a quest like BO4 is the only game I'm pretty sure that does that you can get the death of Orion from a quest or easily get it from the box okay you same with the Kraken same with most of the Wonder Weapons in that game. You know, Blunder Guy on Mob of the Dead you can actually get for free as well. Or you can get it from the box pretty easily. That is how every single Wonder Weapon should be. And yeah, because of, you know, the Venom X being so hard to get and like I said, the Ninja Zombies just being completely and utterly shattered in terms of their balance on Beast from Beyond. I, like they're worse on Beast from Beyond than they are on Shaolin Shuffle, which is the map they're introduced on. How does that make any sense? Literally, why are ninja zombies on Beast from Beyond? I, I, I will never understand. I will never understand, dude. Like they could have, they they put ninja zombies on the map when they single-handedly ruined the map when they could have easily just put on the Sasquatches from Rave or the Krogs from Attack. Do you understand how much more fun Beast from Beyond would be? Like, oh my gosh, man, it would be so much better. I'm fine with the clowns and the cryptids being on Beast. I actually really like the clowns and the cryptids on that map. Um, yeah, the ninja zombies, though, completely completely break the map. They do. If you've ever played, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pretty sure the high round strat for Beast from Beyond is literally to not even turn on the power. And, um, yeah, just so you have cryptids the whole time. So the rounds are shorter and everything. But you also don't have ninja zombies. I'm pretty sure that is the high round strat for Beast from Beyond. I've seen it before. You camp with the Venom X and you, uh, yeah, you don't turn on power. You obviously have Director's Cut. You need to do that, but still, um, that's how bad the ninja zombies are. It genuinely blows my mind that they're on Beast from Beyond. Like, I just, yeah, Beast from Beyond, I mean, Moon, or Infection is still my least favorite map of all time. I still would play Beast over Infection, but honestly, it's getting closer. It is. It is getting closer, man. And yeah, I'd play Shaolin any day over Beast. Beast is by far my least favorite and easily the worst map in IW Zombies. And I actually really like like all the maps in this game, except that map. You know, this map is okay. It isn't great. It's my second least favorite, but um, it's just miles, miles better than Beast from Beyond. All right, though. Um. I gotta wait till round five to talk to Pam and get my ability. Ooh, I'll take that though. Give me that. Hopefully, I don't get a nuke or something right here. All right, playing as Point Dexter again. Yeah, I really, really am gonna give it all I got today, man. I have to. 
I still haven't really done the boss fight on this map. Because I haven't really made it there, you know? It's just so unbelievably annoying, the actual Easter egg itself. And last time, really, the issue was it glitched, first of all. And then the other issue, the main issue, is that I, uh... I just had to keep restarting because the ninja zombies are so broken. You know? It's exactly what had to happen. You know what? 1250? I... Oh, no, I can't get to the Type 2, can I? No, not yet, I don't think. I don't think I can. I think there's one more door I gotta get to, otherwise I'd buy the Type 2. Alright, though. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to complain here. I'm gonna try to just actually focus because that is gonna be the best, uh, the best way to get this done. If I fail this again today, though, man, <laughs> that will literally be... This is already my worst streak of failing challenges that I've ever had. You know, four out of five failures. Easily the worst streak I've ever had. Uh, even for this summer stand this summer standards. Uh, but, yeah, dude, if I were to fail this again today... <laughs> I, I at least gotta get to the boss fight today, man. At least gotta get to the boss fight and at least practice the boss fight a little bit, you know? Because, like I said, I've never done it before. I'm gonna keep C4. It's good for, uh... Destroying that window later on for the for the word step. All right, though. Yeah, let's get this going. Uh, I got that zombie. Where where the rest of the guys at? I have no clue. Hold on, let me just. Oh, he's in there. Okay. Yeah, let me get my piece of paper out with the steps. Um. Oh boy, zombie. Yeah, done. Okay, so. Shaolin Shuffle Easter Egg. Here we go. Yeah, but I just gotta get this done. Hold on, let me turn my light off actually. So I can see the screen a little bit better. Might turn on my little fan in a bit as well. I didn't charge it today. I really, really should have charged it because it's definitely gonna die. Um Doesn't have too much of a battery too too uh yeah, too much of a battery, I guess. Alright, though, so this Karma 45 will give me an extra perk after 75 kills with it, so hopefully it's a good perk, but even if it's not, since the perk system is so good in this game, you can just remove perks for free. Very, very nice. Alright, start opening up the map, and oh yeah, I gotta talk to Pam. You know what? Let's go do that. Let's go get that done. Yeah, I am really, really determined to do this map and the Archon, if you can't tell. That's why I did them back-to-back -back days, and why I'm doing Shaolin again. Yes, Third time in a week. Alright, dude, should I use a different style? I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna it use Snake I today. Why not? I like that green color right now. What is it that you desire? Yeah, I think you can buy the Katana after you get 10k points. For, for 10k points, once you beat the Easter Egg on this map, though. But... Okay. The path you see can only be found within yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna open up the map some more in a second. Oh. I saw that guy spawning in because I saw the red from him spawning into the ground. Or from the ground. I saw it through the wall right there. Alright, actually, I don't need to listen to her. You can hear her throughout the entire map. Okay. So, the first thing I need to do is... Yep, I need to just unlock the shuriken. And then I gotta follow the rat around the map. Um, you know what? I'm gonna open up the rooftop first. Yeah, but these failures I've been having this week are just really, really killing my motivation, guys. They really, really are. They're really killing my motivation and my confidence. Like, it was already low because of all the failures I've had this summer, but this week has just made it so much worse. And the thing is, my confidence, was, my confidence a week ago was so high, and then I failed Shaolin, and it all went downhill. Everything. Terrible, man. All right, though. Um, so, yeah, the, I need to find the pink cat flyer around here somewhere. And the wheel is right here. I could hit the wheel up, but I'm not going to right now. Honestly, should I just upgrade the Kendall? 
I could. Can you get the Kendall back from the box on this map? I don't think you can on most of the maps in this game, but you might. I know you can on Beast from Beyond because you don't spawn with it on that map, of course. But I don't know about this map. Uh, Because, yeah, the Kendall with Bomb Stoppers might not be that bad of an idea. Oh, we got the Skating Divas. So, let's see. Is the flyer out here? It is not. See, like, these skating divas... Like, these would have been a much better thing to put on Beast from Beyond. The ninja zombies are just so much worse, man. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I gotta get that power switch on. Um, but the skating divas are really similar to clowns, so I guess I could see why they didn't put them on Beast. But still, man, Beast would be a much better map. Without the ninjas. So much better. Even with, you could keep the ninjas, just balance them. Fix them. They're so overpowered, man. They kill you in two hits with or without Jug. Like, does that make any sense to anyone? And then they spawn in, for one, on Beast Beyond. on. Like I said, why, does, why don't I just spawn in the freaking spawn room? Why do you spawn me literally in the area the furthest from spawn? Like, it just... It's baffling to me. It genuinely is crazy. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with that map. And then, of course, the ninja zombies, obviously. You know, the fact that they spawn in so quick after you respawn is just disgusting. It's It just ruins the game. It completely ruins it. All right, though. Um, oh, yeah, I got to buy the subway tunnel right here for bang bangs. It takes a while to get Jug on this map. It definitely takes a while. I feel like it takes the longest out of all the IW maps. Definitely longer than Beast. Alright, they'll get this. And then I'm going to go this way. I should be able to... Yeah, I can get Jug this round. Cool. Alright, we got the boss fight arena. Yeah, man. This map has a lot of hard Easter egg steps leading up to the boss fight. Or not necessarily hard. It's just annoying. They're really, really annoying steps. Which is the complete opposite of the Archon. The Archon, the difficult thing about the Easter egg is the boss fight. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong in the boss fight. I tried looking it up a little bit earlier. Oh, dang it. I'm going to have to get rid of those later, probably. Ah, man. Um, Yeah, I, I apparently everybody else finds the boss fight. Like, I saw somebody beat it on solo in, like, six minutes. I can't beat it. I cannot beat the Archon boss fight, man. Literally is taking me the same amount of attempts as Goron Krovi took me to beat, guys. To me, the Archon Easter egg is just as difficult as Gorod Krovi. At least the boss fight. Because there's nothing you can do if you watch the, if you watch me play it. I don't understand what I could be doing differently. I, like just, I, I don't I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But I will beat it. I will beat it by the end of this summer, man. I will beat that. I will even if I have to do it for a month straight, every single day. I'm gonna beat it eventually, man. All it takes is just beating it one time, and then I probably won't do it again for years. <laughs> I will not, like, like th between this Easter egg and the Archon, it, it, probably the two most annoying Easter eggs I've ever done. Because at least Gorod was fun. Um, it was just the boss fight. I had to use Danger Closest to actually beat the boss fight. The boss fight's extremely difficult. But, you know, with this map, man, and Archon, they're just so annoying. They really, really are. But I got Bomb Stoppers from the Karma 45 right here, which... Is definitely not what I wanted, but yeah, so I'll have to get rid of it. All right. Oh, I need to look for the reel, actually. The reel for Pack a Punch. Is it right there? I think it is. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Um, so. Oh, yeah, this train right here, killing my zombie, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find the symbols. I remember that last time. My goodness, dude. I mean, again, I'll keep getting better and better at this Easter egg. Oh, I got to be unlocking shurikens. Okay, yeah, I got to start actually working on the Easter egg. Where is the flyer at, though, dude? Where is the flyer? It's probably over here on this rooftop. It's got to be. But, yeah, should I get rid of the Kendall? I really don't know. I mean, I already have Bomb Stoppers. I could keep it. Like, it would help me. I think I'm going to get rid of it. But to be honest, if I fail this, 
then the next time I do this, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Kendall for sure. I'm using the Kendall. I'm upgrading it, and I'm getting bomb stoppers like you know, like I have right now. All right, 596. What was spawn again? Was it 418 or something? I can't remember. So where is the pink cat flyer? Where else can it spawn? I I'm I cannot remember for the life of me, dude. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna remove bomb stoppers. Goodbye. I got it for free anyway, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, where is this flyer at? Like, this is, like, did I check fully up here? Because I know it can spawn on one of these stools, I think. I think it's on this one, but, yeah, it's definitely not here. Hmm. Where else does it spawn? It does not spawn in here. And then out here, I don't think it spawns anywhere out here. Yeah, where is it, man? Because it wasn't at, uh, it wasn't in front of the pap. And the only way it can, the only area it can be right down here is it can be on the, the chair right there. Um, dang it, dude. Why can't I find this? There's always something. There's always something that goes wrong, isn't there? Like, my goodness, dude. All right, let me go this way again. Yeah, because there's no way it can spawn in here. I don't think I've ever... Yeah, there's no way it spawns in there. Because it's not supposed to be that close to spawn. So maybe in the Bang Bang's tunnel? Or by Jug or something, dude? I have no clue, man. No clue. I checked this, right? Let me make sure. Let me check it one more time. No, I would have seen it by now. It's literally supposed to be right here. Yeah, and I can't get in until... Yep, you need a flyer to enter. Where is the flyer, man? What gun is this again? A ripper? I didn't know they had the ripper in, in both spots. But yeah, where is this flyer at, dude? It has to be down here, right? Somewhere underground. Um, do we see it across the way right there? Dude, if I have to look this up, I'm gonna go crazy. Like, I just shouldn't have to look and look up how to do the pack-a-punch on this map. I just should not have to look it up, man. Not again. I swear this is the map that I've had to look up how to pack-a-punch on the most. It's actually kind of an annoying map to pap on because there's just so many spawn locations for the flyer. And, you also have to find the real. Like, it's just annoying. It's definitely more annoying to pap on this map than any other map. Like, it's not bad on Beast. Obviously, Spaceland, Rave. You know, Rave has different part locations, but not this many, dude. Like, this is just terrible. The sad part is, is there's just one location that I'm missing here for the flyer. Just one little location. Oh, my. Well, uh, I don't know if I should buy the Volk or the NV4, but I'm going to hit the wheel. Let's see what the wheel can give me here. Next round, I need to unlock Shuriken, so the Osa. Yay, now I got the spawn weapon on Beast from Beyond. Lovely stuff, man. All right, so, yeah, Snake. I haven't used Snake in years, dude. I kind of like the, uh, <laughs> where my hands are right here. Like, bro, this map. <laughs> this map, I'm telling you. Alright. So, yeah, I'm going to do this because it doesn't take up any of my charge. Yeah, where the heck is this flyer? I don't need a pack-a-punch just yet. 
to like 15, but oh wow, look at that. Sent him flying. It's pretty satisfying. I love the sound. It's like a whip sound. <laughs> like when you hit like Hold on, let me try to get the sound. Right there. That, that I don't know if you heard it cuz I was talking. Come on, I want that sound again. That wasn't it. Great tear. I <laughs> I love that. Okay. All right, so I can get a couple shuriken kills here. Uh, or no, actually, oh yeah, I, I have to use, yeah, because you need a full charge to do the rat, actually. Follow the rat around. Okay, so, need to refill my chi with another gourd, but I don't think I could do that this round. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, I'll take a fire sale. Wait, where is the wheel? It's, oh, right here, okay. Yeah, I don't really know the wheel locations too well on this map. Alright, though. I'll keep the Karma because they can give me more perks. A stallion. Another Beast from Beyond spawn weapon. Literally in the spawn room. BR-800. There's another Beast from Beyond wall gun. Um, oh! Guys? Ho, 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 ho. I don't even know why I'm hitting the wheel again. There's really nothing I could get that's better than the Mauler Sentinel. Are you kidding me? Um, well, that's a good, that, that's the best gun in the game. So, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I am for sure keeping that thing. Yeah, dude, is the is it in here? The flyer? What the heck was that, dude? Just said punk hits. Is that a music track? Because I think you can actually get different lobby music in this game. I'm pretty sure you can by doing stuff in the maps. But I've never unlocked any. Yeah, man. Where is this dang pink flyer at? I don't know. But I got to get the rat done this round. Because I want to be doing the word by like round 15. I wonder what my next perk from this gun will be. Again, I'll take Bang Bangs, Deadeye, Quickies, or Racing Stripes. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'll take. Those are my favorite perks. Alright, though. So, yeah, I can't find this, this flyer. I just cannot find the thing. But, alright. So this rat always starts right over here, though. But I know crazy. It takes like three minutes to actually find... Oh, no. A true warrior knows oh, I gotta speak to Pam again. Yep. When gotta speak to Pam, and then the rat cage will spawn in. I better not... No, I should be good. I shouldn't have to wait till next round now. Yeah, I can talk to her still. We should be good. Can see what others cannot. To defeat him must possess that which will allow you to see the unseen. I really want to know what pink flyer location I'm missing. Like, what could I be missing right now, man? Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the rat going. I don't need to wait for her to be done talking. This is not an easy easter egg, though. It's not... It... Still, I think the hardest easter egg I've ever done is Gorod Krovi. Uh, yeah, this though is, this or the Archon is the second hardest, and it just really pains me that the Archon, that I'm failing the Archon so many times, you know, because I shouldn't be. It's Vanguard, you know? The Easter Egg is so easy to do, but the boss fight, I cannot do for some reason, man. It really is starting to grind my gears. All right, where is this rat going, man? He's going far without even going to one of the, uh cages, huh? He's literally got to go to the rooftop, doesn't he? What the heck, man? I mean, I'll take it, because I'm pretty sure this rat is not... I think it's... I don't know if it's based on how many cages he goes to, or if it's time-based. You know, when you actually finish this step.
But yeah, I'll play for like three and a half hours today. And if I can't get it, then I can't get it, <laughs> you know? As long as I get to the boss fight today, I'll be happy with that. Because that's at least better than I did in the last video. Okay, going to this one. Where to now, rat? The one in here. Done. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, I think he's going up into this one lounge room or whatever, whatever this, like, private room or whatever this room is right here. And all that garbage, yep. Pile of trash. Now is he going in the, uh, the heebie-jeebies place? Look like it. Okay, he's going to this one. Hopefully, this is the last one because I this has been going on for at least three minutes now. Still not done, huh? Yeah, it's got to be cage-based, not time-based. That's what I figured it was, because... He's, he's going so far away this time. Like, the cages are all so far away. What is this one? The one, like, by the desk when you enter the, um, yeah, in the, the Inferno Disco right there? Is it there? Um, yeah, this one right here I was talking about. Uh, really? I better not have to come back to it. Like, why is this taking this long this time? I don't get it. Like, he's going to this one, and then what, is he going to go back to the other one in Disco? No, it's done now. I just, I don't understand that, though. Like, that was insane. That, at, that was at least four minutes that time. At least. That was easily the longest amount of time I've had to follow that thing around. All right, though. Oh, it's a max ammo round. Dang it. That's not what I was wanting. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to get kills in, in the circle. I've never had the circle be here, though. I'm pretty sure, at least. I don't know, man. All my runs just blend together, you know? How many times I fail. Ah, oh, but I have blue bolts. Which is another perk that I don't really want. It's not the worst thing. But, um, far from the best. Far from what I actually wanted. So, I might try to get one more perk from the karma, and then that's it. I'll get rid of it. It's only 75 kills each time. But yeah, I need to get bang bang. Oh yeah, let me refill this. Just get that out of the way. Yeah, I gotta get bang bang. And then I gotta find the flyer still, man. Oh yeah, and then ninja zombies do spawn in after I fill the circle up. They do. Oh yep, here we go. Ninja zombies are coming. Circle's done. Right, there's ninja zombies. Where? 
Oh, yep. I knew it. So Mauler should be good against them. There's just so many of them, dude. Like, holy. Let me buy Race and Stripes. Because, yeah, I'm definitely keeping the Mauler Sentinel. Mauler Sentinel is, like I said, easily the best gun in the game. I'll be getting rid of Blue Bolt in a second, though. So, okay, hold on. What do I have to do now? Oh, yeah, I gotta go into... I gotta pick up the key from the... From the circle. Which should be there. I shouldn't need to do anything. The key should be there. I don't think I need to talk to Pam for this. I killed all the ninjas, so I think I should be good. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I don't have to fight the Rat King just yet, right? I don't think I do. I can't even see my, um, my piece of paper, dude. Can't really even see what I have written down. All right, though. Pick up the key, and then we got to go open up the locker. Buy Bang Bangs. Might as well pick up Bang Bangs while I'm there. Well, I got to get rid of... Yeah, I can get rid of Blue Bolts right here, because, yeah, Blue Bolts, I don't want. I barely use this perk in this game, because I honestly don't think it's too good in this game. But, you know, there's just a lot better perks that you can use. Alright, so we open up this locker. And it's the same set of symbols every single time. Actually just a key to a locker. Go figure. My gun is in for double the fuck up. Expiration dates are guidelines for freshness in most cases. Don't be a slave to waste. Okay. Still don't have the pink flyer either, man. Like, I'm thinking it could be in the disco, but I don't remember a location in here. Gay bar is on the wall, though. Maybe I'll get that, but I'm not too sure. Okay. So, yeah, let's go shoot these symbols and get this step done. I think I remember the uh, the order of them, so we go left. There we go, gong sound. Then we'll come back to those ones. We just gotta go in here. I feel like I've done this so many dang times. I mean, I have. There's that, and then we gotta shoot first and then third one, I think, over here. There we go. Symbols are done. Then what's next? Um, go to front of Dojo and summon Rat King. Okay, so we gotta fight the Rat King, pick up his eye, and then talk to Pam, and then we can start scanning for symbols. Okay. Um... I really don't think I'm going to be able to find this flyer on my own. Because there's just one location that I'm just missing. And, uh, I just, again, I don't know where the heck it is, man. So, you know what? I'm going to look it up. Where is the pink cat flyer? Where can this thing spawn? Let's see. Pink cat flyer locations. Directly outside the pink cat, outside dojo on a trash pile. I did not check that. On roof of disco and to right of race and drive. Yep, so it is just, um. Yeah. So, on a trash, in a trash pile in front of the dojo. So, I guess it is, um, close to spawn. Alright. That has to be where it is. And yeah, we'll be doing Morse code in a little bit as well, guys. It uh, is what it is. I don't like that train being there. I really don't like that. 
Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to do these symbols. Because, I mean, I can start them next round. Because I'm going to have to end the round because of the dang Rat King. He always ends the round. He always spawns in Ninja Zombies. Alright, uh, so yeah, which one is this? 818, okay. So, yep, we're going to the dojo. In front of the dojo. Trash pile in front of the dojo. And... It should be bright pink. It's usually not too hard to spot. Oh my gosh, dude. Am I really going to have to look this up? Where the heck is this thing? Oh, there we go. Okay. In the back. It ain't the front of the dojo. Though I looked it up on Google and it said front of the dojo. No, it should say to the side of the dojo. Because that's the only side of the dojo is right here. So I would have instantly looked right there. But 713. I'm not going to remember those for when I do get down to that step. Uh, so. Let's see here. Uh, once I do the word though. It's pretty easy after the word step. And remember I've only gotten to this boss fight once before. But alright. Um, do I pack a punch? Because do I need to talk to Pam again? Or can I just spawn in? Nope I can spawn him in. Ah, do I pack a punch? Do I play it safe and pap? I really don't think I need to. Um. So yeah, I'm not actually going to pack a punch. I'm going to see how good this Muller Sentinel is. I'm going to see. Thing is though, is I need to actually deal a lot of damage to him quickly here. Because yeah, he spawns in... Ninjas. Um, yeah, and then he kind of like teleports. Hmm. Yep, ninjas. Where they at? Better not be many more ninjas, I swear. I gotta get down to the training area. Gotta play it safe, man. I don't wanna be using the Mauler right now. I wanna be using the Karma to get my extra perk. And again, I'm gonna get rid of the Karma once I get my, uh, my next perk from it, cause, you know. Just to see if it can save me some points on quickies or something like that, because I'll probably buy quickies. That'll probably be my last perk I get. Just because I do have the mauler, so it'll help out a lot. Fire sale doesn't help. There's no location down here. Alright, so Rat King should be coming pretty soon. I want to try it. Yep, I see him. I want to try to leave a zombie, but it might not. Oh, yep. This thing shreds him. I didn't even hit him too much, but yeah, I can tell this thing is really, really good against him. All right, so that'll help. Muller Sentinel is definitely going to help me out today. So what else do I need to do? I mean, it helped me on Spaceland too when I was doing the Pap Challenge. That literally carried me the whole, carried me through the whole match. But all right, so I can finally open Pack a Punch right here. And enter there with the token. Add the film reel. Dang it, zombie. Okay. So, I can pack a punch whenever I want. So, that's something. So, now I gotta do... I gotta go talk to Pam. And then I gotta do the Rat King symbols. Which, uh... Yeah, because the symbols don't spawn in yet. And even if they are spawned in already, I want to make sure they are. So, I'm gonna go talk to Pam just in... Just to ensure that, man. So, yeah, the eye stays right there. So, we'll go here. It's weird how the eye stays right there, but I, yet I lost it because it glitched last time. You know? If you watched the last, you know, try of this. Very, very annoying, man. Had to restart an hour in. It was about this far into the video when I had to restart. Your enemy and bring his demise closer to you. 
It is the knowledge he possesses that can see. Beware, young Grasshopper. Your enemy will adapt. Expect the unexpected and embrace what you've learned to make your enemy succumb. Return to me when you gain the wisdom you require for freedom. Namaste. Okay, she's done talking, so should be able to find the symbols now. We should be able to. Have I ever had a spawn right here yet? I don't think I have. But, yeah, let me make sure that I'm doing this correctly, that it is symbols. Yep, pick up his eye, then talk to Pam. So, yeah, I should remember all the locations, because I did this literally just two days ago. So, I know it can be behind there. Doesn't look like it, though. Let's check the car here, the cop car. Now, you can only find two per round, or I think it's two at a time, and then it adds two more in the same round or something. I don't know exactly how it works yet. It's, uh, it's, yeah, I usually just go on to the next round, but I don't really want to do that right now because we're already on round 13. There has got to be a way back to that projector room from this Oh, yeah, too. hold on. Let me, yeah, let me break Where these two things. I have no clue. Ninja time. Kung Fu. Jerkin. Oh, yeah. I like how you get XP for that as well. So, all right, this one on the vent right there. Nope. Just saw a Huey climb through the vent to, uh, to spy on Homelander and Newman yesterday in, uh, in The Boys Season 4. I only got four episodes left, and then I'm all caught up on The Boys. Started watching it probably like a month ago, and uh, I literally am almost fully caught up. I watched Gen V, obviously all the episodes of The Boys, and... Yeah, unfortunately, I, I'm pretty soon I'm going to have to wait like a year and a half or two years like everybody else for new episodes. But, okay, so, yeah, let's go down here. Just want to make sure I don't miss any of these locations. I'm going to wait for the train to go because the train always comes through and kills my zombie. That's what really messed me up last time. I got to make sure I shoot this door or destroy it with the uh, Kung Fu. Um, come on, train. Come on. See, you're taking this long, but if I were to go over there right now, I guarantee you, as soon as I try to scan, you'd come through and kill my zombie and end the round. So, just go already, train. Like, when those green... When the lights turn green... The train comes in quick, doesn't it, man? It really does come in quickly. Like, holy. Am I checking the right spot, or is it over here? I can't remember. Because I don't think I've ever had it spawn right here. And then I'm pretty positive it's not on the other side, but... Alright, let's go check spawn. Can be in spawn. Ah, where is this symbol at? I sure would like to slide my weapon up in that pack-a-punch machine right now. Okay, so it's definitely not there. Am I missing something here? Or like, are the symbols not spawned in or something? Because I should not be doing anything wrong. The symbols should be available to me. Like, they have to be up here on the rooftop. They have to be. One has to be in here. Oh, I guess clothesline as well. I haven't checked. Yeah. So where the heck are these symbols at, dude? So I know you don't have to go on to a new round for them to spawn in. I know that for a fact. Where the heck are they? Are they actually not spawned in yet? I don't understand why I can't find one. Like, hold on a second. Where... Where have, where have I not checked? Oh, in front of Bang Bangs? Um, but that's the thing, is even if it is right there, where else is there that I haven't checked? Spawn behind train, we checked... Like, there's no way I haven't... There's no way they're spawned in right now. There's just no... There's no way, man. Like, it 
ink there. Ah, uh, what the heck is going on, man? Again, there's 13 locations, two at a time that can spawn. Train, come on already. Like. Okay, you better not end my round. As soon as I cross, the train goes. What did I tell you? I knew that was going to happen. It always does. It always does, people. It's extremely predictable. Wait. No, that ain't it. I always think that right there is it, but it's not. It's just like a pipe or whatever sticking out. <sighs> what am I doing wrong, man? Literally, the symbols are not spawned in. There's no way they are. There is no way. Zombie, why would you spawn ahead of me like that? Like, what the heck, man? So, again, we'll check here. I genuinely... Hold on, let me see if I can talk to Pam again. Because that's the only thing I could possibly think of. Gotta get two symbols this round. You have not gained possession of that which I seek. Uh-huh. Once you have completed your training. I don't need to upgrade my chi at all. My kung fu to do this this step. So why the heck can't I do this step? Where are these symbols at? I am positive you don't have to go to another round to do these symbols. I'm positive of that. Like, what the heck is this, man? Uh, am I really going to have to end the round? Because I don't know what... I, why can't I find them, man? What am I doing wrong? Gosh, do I hate this Easter egg, dude. Uh, such a terrible Easter egg. Anyone surprised that I'm still not finding one? Not a single symbol. Let me check back on the roof. I haven't been up there in a while, huh? There has gotta be a way back to that projector room Even though... Spoiler alert! Where there ain't none up here. Because no there's not a single symbol that spawned in on the entire map. So, of course there wouldn't be one here. Of course not. Yeah, on my piece of paper, I wrote down... Go to front of Dojo and summon Rat King. Pick up his eye, talk to Pam, and then find six orange Rat King symbols. That's what I wrote down, people. Like, this is really, really starting to annoy me. Because why, why can't I find them? Alright, and yep, done. Zombie, get over here already. Any other time spawns right behind me, or right in front of me, actually. Eight miles in front of me. But right there, nope. Slowly but surely comes towards me. Slowly comes towards me, man. So stupid. Genuinely so stupid. So yeah, in the first attempt of this, by round 14, I was doing the word. Here, I'm not even... I haven't even started the symbols yet. Because I, I... Where are they, man? Where are they? This is starting to real. If I can't find two symbols this round, and I have to look something up because I did something wrong, I'm going to go freaking nuts, man. I, I'm not doing anything wrong. There's no way I am, man. I'm doing the exact same steps... Looking at the exact same steps on this piece of paper as when I did this the last three times, dude. More than that, actually, I've done this step. You can't tell me I'm doing something wrong here. I like how the zombie just crawls through the... Like, what the frick is the point of barriers in this game, huh? Did You, you just saw that, right? <laughs> wow, man. 
What a joke. What a true, genuine joke. Oh my goodness, man. What is going on? Fun? You bet your fucking ass it is. The only thing I could possibly think of is the two symbols are in each of the subway tunnels right here. And these are locations that I know the least. Because I've never had them, like, I've never had one be right here. You know? So I don't know where, like... <sighs> I got Dead Eye Do Drops. I mean, that's good. I did say I would, I'd take that. Um, however, I don't know if I'm going to keep that. I don't know, dude. Well, I'm going to get rid of the Karma now. Might buy the Volk or the NV4. Probably the Volk. Well, yeah, because the NV4 is not even on the wall in this map. Yeah, like... You have not gained possession of that which I said. Still haven't... Uh, and how the... Okay, I'm looking this the frick up, man. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, man. I'm done. Where is... Where are the symbols, dude? Come on, man. Freaking wasting my mother effing time again. Freaking F off, dude. you're playing on to scan the area to find a rat king two tips i could give you against the rat king is one hit for headshots because it does a lot of damage and two if he has a shield up and you're seeing this yellow symbol do not shoot at him because you're doing zero damage to him once you take out the rat king pick up the eye that he drops on the ground once you pick up the eye you're gonna have to inspect by clicking lb depending on what controller or what device you're playing uh-huh pick up the eye just like i have written down just like i've done in every single other video pick up the eye then scan for symbols where are my symbols at, man? Where? This is freaking disgusting, man. Uh, you know what's funny is the quality of this video is so bad simply because I'm streaming right now, so it can't actually, I can't put it at high quality. Location is going to be located on the third floor of the disco room, and it's going to be on top of this water tower to the right side. The fifth location is going to be located behind you, underneath the skyline on the vent right here. The sixth location is going to be located in the second subway as soon as you get down the stairs on the right side, behind you on the floor. The seventh location is going to be located in the bar with the rock band playing music behind this speaker right here. The eighth location is located inside the dojo as soon as you go through the door, turn around, it's going to be located on the wall right here. Now exiting the room to the right side through the door, there is another location through the barricade on the wall to the right side. The tenth location is going to be located in spawn above items up to the far left on the wall right here. The eleventh location is going to be located right up this ramp to the right side inside the barricade on the wall right here. The twelfth location is going to be located on the right side of the pro evil on the far building right here. The thirteenth location is going to be located past PhD on this cop car right here. Now once you shoot all six symbols, one of the telephones either the... <sighs> This is really, really starting to annoy me, man. Most likely what's happening right now. By the way, keep in mind, the first time I ever did this Easter egg, I was done with the word step by this round. Uh-huh. Yeah, people. Yeah, I know. Um, so... I don't know what's going on. Maybe, I guess the symbols, I guess I'm just, because they're, they're spawned in. I'm just not finding them. Somehow. Like, somehow, I'm, I have the hardest to find symbols in the map, apparently. Because, 
I would have found one by now. Like, they're not even that hard to find. I have to leave a zombie this time. I didn't mean to end the round last time. Oh, my goodness, man. Let me use this and just, um... Leave a zombie. Okay, people. Let's see here. So, uh... I think I'm looking in the wrong spot for this Bang Bangs one. Because I just watched this Dig Dug video game. Um, and apparently it's like right here. It is. That is why. See, I've never had it spawn right there. Zombie, you, I swear to get, I swear if you die, you are so freaking lucky, man. Takes it 10 hours to climb up there. Okay, so we found one. Now, where is this other one then? Because that's the hardest location to find on the entire map, for me at least. What else could I possibly be missing right now, man? Like, spawn? There's no way. It would be, like, right there. I, I've done that one before. I've done that one. I know it's exactly right there, and it ain't there. So, let me check this, because apparently it's on the right side of this wall. No, it certainly is not in there. All right, let's check here. It's never been here in my game. It has never been in the dojo, which is great luck, of course. My incredible luck. All right, and then obviously in here is not in there. I would have seen it 10 hours ago. Do you understand how much time this is wasting, though? Like, come on. This is just wasting so much time. But we know the symbols are out. I mean, I knew they were. I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong. It's just I can't find them. They're the two hardest to find ones. Like, that's in like this is crazy. Obviously, it ain't right here because I would have found it. Are you... I mean, I, you, you saw me scan this area about 50 times. And then it just shows up right there, huh? Like, explain that. Explain it, dude. Unbelievable. I don't even know how this works. Again, man, I don't know if I can do this step right now or if I have to go on to the next round for the next two symbols. I don't know how it works exactly. I usually just go on to the next round just to be safe, but, I mean, I've wasted so many rounds at this point, I don't want to do that, you know? So, I think I'm just going to end the round here, man. I'll check all these locations first, maybe, just to see, but I think I have to go to the next round. Pretty positive. Thing is, is there's just so many locations, man, like... Gosh, it's just annoying. I gotta hit the wheel this round. I have a ton of points to do so. Oh, no! Okay. So, we can go on to the next ones. Good. Good, good, good. Now I know for sure that you don't need to go on to the next round. You just have to do two at a time. And then the next two spawn in. That's really, really good to know. I wanted to know that. I usually, like I said, I have to... I, I usually go to the next round. All right, though, so we obviously know there's a location in the blue room down here. Nothing. Right here, though. Not right there. Um, obviously, it can't be in Bang Bangs again. Can't be in the same location twice. So... We'll go check Quick Revive, because where else have I not checked this time? Because, yeah, it can't be in the same location twice. There's no way it can be. I'm pretty positive it can't be. 
but somehow it ain't right there. <laughs> like, I... I don't get this. I don't understand this step. Still. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dude. So it's on that wall. I don't know if I've ever had it spawn right there. But we have four, guys. We have four done. Let me check spawn again. I just really, really want to get this done this round, man. I'm thinking maybe each round you go on to, the symbols switch. Like, they switch locations. But I don't know if that's actually true. It'd be kind of nice if they did, but... Yeah, I don't know. Because it can move from one of the harder locations. Alright, going to the wrong area. It's right over here. Come on, man. Two more. Two more is what we need. Really? Alright, let's go back up to the roof. And let's check the water tower. Apparently, it's like... I have gotten it here before. And it's on the right side, like up top, I think, towards the, the peak of it. But, alright. This. Nope. Let's go back this way, I suppose. Nothing. Come on, man. Yep, nice. Good, good, good. We need one more, guys. We need one more. One more symbol. Hopefully, it's up on the rooftop here. By the way, I know this map extremely well now. That is one thing I can say is from all these practice runs. I know this map extremely well. Um, yeah, like the actual layout of it because of doing the, doing the Easter egg. I know, like, that's the quickest way to learn a zombies map, I feel like, is to... Just attempt the Easter egg because you use pretty much the entire map, and you're constantly running across the map, and yeah, you you really do learn the map quickly. Not up there. So where could it be that I haven't checked yet? Like seriously, where have I not checked? So, I mean, I checked here. I checked here. Oh, no, it is right there. Yeah, see? I don't understand it. I don't really get it. I really don't get it that much. Um, are there ninjas that spawn in? I don't think there are. I didn't write that down. Use phone at booth. Okay, Morse code time. Uh, Morse code for three-digit number. Uh, hold on a second. You know what? Let me just look. While I make my way... Oh, wait, no. Wait, no. This isn't the phone you use. It's spawn. Um, but, yeah. There is a, a Nightmare Summer. I want to look right here. There's a poster. Oh, man. Where's it at? Where's that? Oh, I think I know. It's right, it's right to the right right here. Um, so, 420 is Bang Bangs. Might as well try to remember these. For when I do the Morse code. I'm going to need to look on my phone real quick. Because I do have a screenshot. I think I screenshotted it. Um, of what I actually need to do here. Okay, so. Last time I did this, I remember it was easy. The Morse code was easy. Because the first number was just. Like, I don't know. I think it was two or something like that. And you only have to do that like once. The subway or the second subway will be red. Go ahead and listen to it. Okay, so. Did I take a screenshot? I did. Yes, I did. And I took the screenshot at 12.45 a.m. on August 15th. It is 11.23 p.m. on August 18th. Okay, so here we go. Let's um, let's do this, guys. Let's uh, let's try to listen to this. thing is, is a zombie is going to be very, very annoying while I'm doing this. Always is. Wait. Oh, yeah, I guess this will work. Okay, I need to listen to that again. I have no clue what that was. Um... Luckily, there's only six different uh, combinations here because if there were like ten or... If, I mean, dude, if it was like a random combo every time, that would just be disgusting. But there would have to be a lot of posters for that to be the case. Ramen Chur? Is that how you pronounce your name, man? Raymond Chur? Raymond Chur? I have no... I, I don't know. I'm going to say... I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, man, but how you doing? How you doing today?
I, it's 281. I'm going to listen to it one more time, but it is 281. Just Raymond? Yeah, but is it Raymond or Ramen? Or do you not care? Probably Ramen, but... Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 281. I think that's the one I got last time. Because... Yep, we got it. Okay. It's 281. It is 281. Can't remember where 281 was, though. You don't care? Alright, I'll just call you, uh... I'll just call you Raymond. I, I don't want I don't want to say ramen. It's like ramen noodles, but... <laughs> um, also, thanks for the follow, man. I didn't see that. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, am I on PC? No, I'm on Xbox. Xbox Series X I'm playing on. Alright, though. So, there is another Nightmare Summer. Okay, there's one on the roof and then one right here. So, yeah, it's 281, though. That's 407. And then... Oh, yeah, the one upstairs on the roof. Gotta check. We are almost on the word step. Finally. And now I actually know how to do the word step a lot better because <laughs> I actually know where the fifth symbol is. My goodness, dude. Can't even I can't believe I made it to the boss fight without even knowing there was a symbol right there. Cannot believe that. 281. We're, we're good. Boom. Beautiful. I haven't ever failed that step, and I'm glad I haven't because, yeah, I make sure I get that Morse code correct every time. Like, 100% correct because, yeah, that's... The symbols suck. All right, so there we go. And now we have the, uh, or do I, do I need to talk to, oh, we got ninjas. Yep, ninja zombies. Oh, no. I don't want to kill the zombie wherever he is. There he is. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dude. Well, I killed the zombie. Or did I? Wait, I think I hear, I think I just heard another one spawn. Am I trying director's cut? Uh, not this. Not right now. Uh, this is actually the first IW Easter egg I'm doing. I'm also doing Spaceland uh, sometime this month. And, oh, yep, there we go. We got the words. Beautiful. Um, in the future, I will get director's cut, but I'm not focusing on it right now. I'm just doing the Easter eggs for the first time. All right, so R, hold on. I got to get my phone out for this because there's just way too many combinations. I don't think I'm going to do R, though, because it's just... Too much. I think there's just too many R combinations. So let's see here. R has R has five on here. S has way too many. S has an un S has like ten. All right though. Um. So it's either gonna be an A, E, or O. So what does the A look like? A is like the double backwards S's. So, first we'll look for A. I'm going to try to do R, but probably not going to get R. Yeah, it's definitely not Rat King. So, then it could be Reality TV or Redwoods. So, the E is kind of like a backwards S type thing. Uh, not looking like it. What is this one again? Nope. Nope. Nope, so it must be O then, right? Oh, you know what? Yeah, O is the three. Yeah, okay, let's try O. It's either going to be roller coaster or roller skates. Dang, those are really similar. All right, those are really similar, dude. I guess you're going to have to choose once you actually spell roller. So is it that? It is, cool. So it's um, we got that correct. So it's either going to be roller coaster or roller skates unless it's something that's not on this um, this guide I have. And this is Dig Dug 7's guide, I think. Uh, so, the L, we're just looking for an L, which is kind of like a JK, it looks like, kind of. Which is that. Dang it, dude, really? Okay, we got that. And then we need the exact same symbol again. Imagine if it spawned in the same spot. I wonder if it can, actually. Wait. There's no way that's it. I don't think that's it. It's got to be right here, then. Yep. Okay, so we got roll spelled. Now we need an E, which the E is the backwards S, okay. But it's not that. It needs to have a little curve at the back. I don't think that was it. Yeah, it's this. Yep, we got the E. Okay, now it's going to be R, obviously. So R is like a cross. Not that. 
It's the cross with the triangle at the bottom. Not that. I'd love if I could get this done first try, man. When you have a guide, it really shouldn't... It, it, it's really not that bad, but... Roller. Okay, now I have to either see... It's either gonna be... It's either gonna go C for coaster or S for skates. So the C... I'm gonna look for the C first. The C is kind of like a sideways Y with a curve type thing. Um... Definitely not that. Definitely not that. Definitely not that either. So, okay, S. S is like the big A. It's got to be that. Nice. So it should be roller skates. So then we need a K. K is... Um, kind of like an F with like a... Oh, yeah, I think it's that one right there, isn't it, dude? Let me make sure. I really don't want to mess this up because these long words like this really, really um, take a lot of time. Okay, so, yeah, should be this. There we go. And then we need an A, which is the two backwards S's. Where the heck did my zombie go? I don't even know where my zombie went, dude. Two backwards S's. Let's make sure. Yep, this should be good. Now, oh, it was the same thing, right? Right? Yeah. So now we need the T, which is kind of like a, I don't even know, like a, a, a more exquisite T look, looking thing. I don't know, like a curved T sideways. I don't know how to describe these symbols. They're just completely abstract. Okay. Got to be this one then. It has to be, yeah. So there's that. And then we need E. Which we did before. That's the backwards S with the curve, which is that. Yep. And then, guys, no way. This is the longest word I've done so far, for sure. We have an S. S is the big A. Come on, man. Come on. I want to beat this. I want to get this word done, man. I didn't think I'd get it. Okay, there's the big A. Let's make sure. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. It's got to be that, though. Yes, guys. First try, I actually did the word. First try. Much, much better than any other attempt. But I guess that does kind of help when you know where the fifth symbol location is. <laughs> like, I cannot believe I missed that one. I, I can't believe I actually beat it without even knowing that was there. Like, if you watch the first vid, uh, it's because I spelled death, though. It took a long time to get done. So, yeah, that is much, much quicker. Hour and a half, and we're already done with the word. I'm already on to page two. Going, it's actually going better today than it has in any other videos, any other attempt so far, guys. If I'm gonna beat it, then today's the day. So hold on. Summon Rat King near RPR Evo. Grab Brain and talk to Pam. Okay. Well, we're gonna do that, but I'm actually pack a punching. All right. I'm not. You know what? Hold on. Before I pack, let me go buy the Volk. I really, really like the Volk. I'm really liking the thing lately. Um. For the boss fight, probably two LMGs would be the best, but I feel like if I, as long as I have the Mauler Sentinel, that's pretty much all I should need, you know? Like, the Mauler is just so dang good in this game. Oh, yeah, here we go. So, do I want quickies? I think I'm going to get quickies, because this reload... Yeah, I think I'm going to get quickies. I think so. Deadeye helps out a lot, actually, for the... Um, for the Volk, but it really doesn't do too much for the Mauler. All right, guys, I should not need to look anything else up. So, yeah, phone is down. No downs yet either, guys. No downs. Hopefully, I don't down when fighting the Rat King right here. But yeah, let me get quickies. Oh, you know what I could do actually. I'll do that once I once I pat my guns. I'm going to try to open up all the portals on the map. Okay. Let's get the Volk going first. Oh, I want to see what the Mauler looks like with this pat camo, actually. I don't know if I ever pat this thing on this map. Because I, I do like this pat camo. More than Rave and Spaceland combined. Uh, first time doing this EE. Yep, this is my first time. Although on my YouTube channel, I did do this... I do, did two other streams trying to do this. First stream was... Ooh, it looks good. Um, first stream was three hours, and the second stream was three hours. So, yeah. Uh, failed both times miserably. Did better in the first time I ever tried it. I made it to the boss fight first time ever doing this Easter egg, but... Um, 
Yeah, this is a difficult Easter egg to do. Alright, though. Good luck. Yeah, um... <laughs> I appreciate the good luck, man, because, yeah, this is not... Not the easiest Easter egg I've ever done. It's not necessarily difficult, like, these steps. You just gotta... Like, they're just annoying, like, in my eyes. Morse code, doing the word, like, it can be fun. I guess it's fun when you learn it, but it's it's just more annoying than a lot of other Easter eggs I've done. But, yeah, hopefully I can actually beat it today, because I don't know what to expect in the boss fight. I did get into the boss fight, like I said, but I went into it on accident, and I had no ammo, so I obviously didn't uh, get anything done that day. Okay, is there one in spawn? I think there's a, por a portal door, or a door portal in spawn, whatever you want to call it. Um, maybe not. Yes, it's in Bang Bangs. It's for sure in Bang Bangs. Right here. Can I throw a shuriken at it? Yes, I can. I love doing that. Can I use this? Yes, I can. Beautiful. All right, so we got those two, and then there is one on the rooftop, and then where's the other one at? I think it's right outside Path, actually. Should be, yep, nice. Oh, what a throw, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't use that one yet because that connects to the rooftop. What's the quickest way to get there? Ah, uh, man, see, this is... I, I'm just going to go this way. That's why I need to get these portals online, so I don't need to keep running across the entire map like this. Alright, though. The way my hands are, dude, like... <laughs> The Kung Fu on this map is very, very unique. Alright, so there we go. And this teleports me to the PAP area, right? Lovely. That helps out a ton. That really, really is going to help out a lot. Okay, so... Yeah, I need to go through that portal again, actually. And summon the Rat King. It's going to end the round. Wait, what? Really? Why can't you do that? Why can't you go... Like, one portal takes you... To, the, to a spot, but then you can't go back through the portal? Like, how does that make any sense, man? Unless there's a cooldown on it. There might be a cooldown. Well, this brings you... Hold on, where... Which one is this? The subways both look the exact same, dude. Okay, bang, bangs. Did not want to come here. Well, let me see if I can use this portal now. Oh, yeah, there's a cooldown. Okay. Yeah, this is rooftop. Alright, so there's just a little cooldown. So, the Rat King. Um, I probably shouldn't have the shurikens out when doing this. Probably not going to go too well. Bug, get off my screen. Get off my screen, Bug. I need to focus here. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to... Does this do anything to him? It does do something, but probably not much. Okay. Get me out of here. I don't know why I always go this way, but... Yep, we got the ninjas. And you see how my zombie, literally, we just saw it right there. Because the ninja spawned in, my zombie just died. Like, that is so annoying. Like, why does that happen? Like, did... Oh, max ammo round. Where are the other ninjas? I know that's not it for the ninjas. That's never just it. Where are the ninjas at? Like, the Rat King should be following me. Yeah, there he is. So where the heck are the ninjas, man? Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate these ninjas. Okay. Probably should be using the Mauler, but... I kind of want to kill him with this. Oh, boy. Yep, let's get down into the uh, into the sewer training spot. Uh-oh. Oh, that was that actually scared the heck out of me. Good thing he didn't <laughs> block me off. Good thing I just there wasn't an actual collision right there. 
All right, give me the gourd. Oh, here we go. Yeah, infinite revives, point Dexter, is what I need. I don't really need infinite ammo. I more so need infinite revives. Oh, there he is. Oh, we got a ninja. Any more ninjas? Hopefully not. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I would have already killed him by now if I was using the mauler. I really should be, but... You know what? I need his gas grenades, too. I got him earlier, but then I had to get rid of him. He dead? Why am I getting red hit markers? Okay, good. I thought I was going to say, like, red hit markers if he's not dead. Okay, there we go, though. Got the brain. Now... Uh, do I need to do... What do I need to do here? Oh, jump... Oh, okay. I need to talk to Pam. And then there's gonna be a jump scare in three rounds. And then the lockdown. Oh, yeah. I made it to the lockdown last time. But then I, uh... I died. Instantly. In the fire. Just instantly. Died from the fire. And then I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah. Yep. Then I got swarmed by ninjas after that. And all the other zombies. Because... It just... If you die during the lockdown, it just breaks the game. There is no grace period when you respawn. Alright, though. So, I guess I could just play for a couple rounds and upgrade my chi. And then we gotta do the yellow circles, which I'm a little bit nervous about. Um, sure I'm gonna be in the 20s doing that. Yeah, so I gotta... Yeah, the turn style... Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. Nothing I can do right now. Got to end the round. Ammo we'll clip. We'll take. I gotta beat this today, man. I gotta at least get to the boss fight. At least do better than last time. Like Easter eggs are. So I mean, like it's it's crazy to me that I beat the nine and Tiger Toten and Devil Knight Easter eggs. Literally first attempt. And then this one is taking me so long. It's crazy. Like I thought I thought nine and dead of the night were actual difficult Easter eggs. Clearly not, at least not for me. Better not be a ninja or something. Better not be a ninja zombie. I'll take that. Again, just gotta fly through these next couple rounds until the jump scare happens, and it'll send me into the lockdown. And then, hold on, what did I write down for lockdown? Um, well, yeah, just pick up turnstile. Because the lockdown, the first time I did it in the first vid, I didn't even know what to expect, and I just. It was easy. It was extremely, extremely easy. So, I, again, I don't know how I get worse at these Easter eggs when I attempt them for the second and third time. I don't understand it. Come on, gas grenades, man. I need them. All right, well, time to get time to bring out the big guns. Yeah, this thing should save me in the boss fight. It really should. All right, though. So, I think during this round, I'm going to get the jump scare. Most likely. Scene 20 right here. 
Didn't I do the symbols and the word step on the same round? This game, I think I did. Like, I, I can't believe how quickly I got the word done. The word is actually not that bad. I, the word is easier than the symbols, I think. Doing the symbols, I think, is the hardest part of the Easter egg. It takes the most time, I feel like, as well. Is that a ninja zombie I just saw? Or is it just smoke? Infinite ammo. Oh, yep, there's a jump scare. Dang it, couldn't get the infinite ammo. But here we go. Okay, I need to not walk into the fire this time. That insta-kills you for whatever reason. Yep, I walked into the fire before. You cannot do that. Just gotta survive in this area. Which should not be too bad with the Mauler Sentinel. Um, yeah, I think it's already done. Fire's gone. Should be done. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, yep, there's the turnstile. Beautiful. So then we place it by... Down here for spawn, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jeez, dude. Okay, there we go. And then... I think something happens when I do that. Or no. I think I got an achievement for doing that the other day. For the first time. Let me actually check. Hold on. What did I get? Yeah, four days ago. The end of the longest journey is a single step. Yeah, so... Not done with the Easter egg just yet, though. So, what is the next step? Uh, climb wooden ladder near Mule Munchies. Look through open window outside and shoot symbol. And then we got to fill the souls in the circle. Yeah, I want to get that going next round at the latest. I'll probably leave a zombie this round, shoot symbol, and then get the circles next round. A lot of cash. Is that last guy? Looks like it. Should have reloaded first, but it's fine. Uh, this brings me where again? I can never tell. Mule kick, right? Yeah, mule kick. It's just the fire right there. Okay, so I couldn't find this ladder before when I did this for the first time, but obviously now I know where the heck I'm going. So then we go up here. And, yep, there's the symbol. So now, yep, the yellow circle right here. And then I just got to go around the map and find the rest of them. I'm nervous about this. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Not going to lie, dude. Oh, I didn't get a max ammo. Dang it. I need ammo for this gun. Oh, I just heard the portal recharge. Oh, really? It's a... I mean, I, I guess I'm going to get my max ammo here. Do these guys count? for souls to fill this up because if so then that's actually gonna help but if not then it's just a waste oh man oh no they did they did that one's done cool very very cool because yeah i'm nervous about this step i can't remember what round i was on when i did this the first time but i don't think it would i think it was earlier than this to be honest can it be on the rooftop like all the way up top i don't know I don't know exactly where it can be. I know it can repeat locations, though. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can look up in the air to find it, too. If it's close, at least. Which it ain't close. Mmm. Check down on the subways. You got that easy? What? Oh, here we go. What, the, the first circle done? Again, I'm so glad I got the Mauler Sentinel. The Mauler Sentinel. Incredible, incredible weapon. Nice. We got two done on a max ammo round. That is very, very good. And I think there's, there's five or six we got to do. I want to actually... Write down how many we actually have to do. Okay. Um. Oh, jeez. Don't blow me up. All 
Alright. Go back this way. Do I see the beam of light in the air? Oh, man. Yes, it is right here. Nice. Right by the uh, RPR. I'm so glad these skating divas actually count as filling up souls with, with for this, you know? Definitely saves me a lot of time. All right, cool. And look at that. Ranked up. Ranked up to 225, and we just hit scene 25. All right, man. Let's see how this goes. Probably going to have ninja zombies spawning in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to wait till they get a little closer. I am going to use the mauler for this because I want to be safe. And I don't want to have to constantly reload. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Ninja zombie, die. Get out of here. You know what? Let me take the portal. Uh, I'm not seeing it around here. Oh, boy. Let me check over here again. Oh, okay. It is here. It is here. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this room. I really, really don't like this room. Oh, are there crawlers? No, 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 no. Ah, I hate the crawlers that just randomly appear in this game. Okay, ammunition already at maximum. I might have just killed myself by going back in this dang room. Get out of there. Holy. Yep, quickie selfs out a ton. So what was that? That was the fourth one, I think, right? Pretty sure that was the fourth one. So hopefully there's only one more. Uh-oh. See, like... Like I showed at the beginning of this stream. How did I not die there? I died on Beast from Beyond earlier today in two hits with Jug and without Jug to the ninja zombies. To one ninja zombie at the end of the round. But then right there, I actually don't die. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Literally makes zero sense, dude. That's how broken those things are. Alright, where's it at? Where's the last sim or the last circle at? Is it right here? Hopefully it's right here. I'll do it right here. It ain't right here. Okay, um, I'm going to take the portal. Oh, it might be in one of these uh, these subway tunnels. Did we have the one right here before, or was it spawned? I can't remember. Again, the, the subway tunnels just look the exact same, dude. Come on, I got to get the... Oh, there it is, there it is, spawn. Was it right here before? Oh, yeah, it was right here. It was spawn. It was spawn, I remember. Come on, man. I gotta get this done. Oh, no. Okay. Good thing I'm not doing this on an even later round than this. That'd be terrible. Alright, so, hold on. What did I write down after that? Um, wait. Are they done? Are the circles all done? Gotta make sure they're done first. I'm pretty sure there's only five, though. I think that's it. Because, wait a second, where... Yeah, what did I write down after this? So, um... Oh, there's a gong once complete. Okay. I did not hear a gong, did I? I don't think I did, so there must be six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there wasn't a gong. Oh, yep, right here. Okay. So this is definitely the last one. Should be enough zombies to finish it this round. Yep, there we go, man. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. All right. Um, so now... Is that last guy? Hopefully that's the last zombie. So, interact with vinyl players in DJ, spot, and disco. Bring zombies near dancing zombie. Repeat until disco ball disappears. Okay. So, this is like the last main step of the Easter egg. And then I got to summon the Rat King one more time, get his heart, and then we go into the boss fight. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this. Ah, this is not an easy step either, though. That's the thing. But there we go. We got that guy. Now, I don't know what's going to happen, though, because isn't that my last guy of the round? Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, I don't know exactly how this step works, but... I don't think I have to activate the uh, the vinyl players again. Yeah, see how it just spawns a zombie with the disco ball? Just kind of weird, but I'll take it. Man, I'm really, really tempted to use this Irish luck. Oh, wait, I forgot. Okay, I forgot. I'm, I already just messed it up. What the frick am I getting hit by, dude? Ah, these stupid ninja zombies, man. Like, this area is... I'm freaking dead. What the frick am I getting killed by, Infinity Ward? Literally, what was that, man? You're telling me they were that close to me the entire time? Really? What the frick was that garbage, man? I'm, I hate this step because there is no room. Plus, the zombies drop down on top of you, man. They keep jumping up and falling down, and it just makes zero freaking sense. Makes no sense. I hate this step. I really, really hate this step. Like, I'm doing it on too high of a... And then look at this. Ninjas. Unbelievable. Give me the dang perk, dude. Oh, yay. Look at this. Look at this. More ninjas! More! I don't think that's enough ninjas, Infinity Ward. Frickin' spawn some more for me, huh? Literally, this step, dude. This this Easter egg is a hole, man. I hate this Easter egg. I really, really hate this Easter egg, I have to say. I cannot wait until the day I beat this. <laughs> oh, man. The mistake I made today, the mistake I'm making right now is I'm on too high of a round to be doing this, I think. I am. Since you, you can't get the Wonder Weapon until you do the Easter egg on this map, until you beat the frickin' Easter egg. You know, like, I, I don't have the katana. The katana would help out quite a bit, probably, for this step, for the disco ball step. I would imagine it would, you know, but can't have it. Gotta beat an Easter egg to get the Wonder Weapon. That is completely and utterly stupid game design. Like, there just isn't enough room on this disco floor, I'm telling you. Well, there is enough room... But like I said, it's their spawning. See how they drop down from up above? From the bridge in the middle? They climb up constantly and then drop down constantly. Where'd the disco ball go? Again, I don't even know when you finish this. Like, how it works. Like, where is the disco ball at? Yeah, like, like, not, like, I don't get it, man. And there's a ninja. Oh my goodness. Like, it just keeps randomly disappearing. I know you have to have a zombie on the disco floor, but, like, that's the thing is I have the zombies on the disco. Floor on the disco floor and then the zombie the disco ball just disappears every time man oh I really hope I get this step done this round look at all these crawlers There we go. We got the gong sound. Jeez, man. Yeah, the spawns in this area are disgusting, man. Like, that bridge, dude. That bridge. It'd be so much easier if they didn't jump from that bridge. Okay, so... Oh, man. Stressful. Okay, so prepare for boss. Summon Rat King in front of Pap slash Disco and then grab Heart. Okay. I need to make sure I have max ammo before I go into the boss fight, of course. But, uh... Wait, what perk do I not have? Oh, yeah. Stamina. Uh... Oh, you know what, actually? Hold on. Dude, look at these crawlers. Crawlers with a bullet weapon. Infinity Ward. Two bullet weapons, actually. Okay, so this should teleport me right onto the roof. 
which helps out a lot. Rate two raisin stripes. And I gotta wait for that to recharge, that to cool down. Ooh, but hold on. I don't have this upgraded. I should have been doing that when I was waiting for the jump scare is what I should have been doing. Dang it. Like, how does that miss, dude? Like, these shurikens are so bad. And this is not round because, yeah, he's not running. Okay, um... Should I go summon the Rat King? I really don't know if that's a good idea or if I should just wait until... I have this upgraded first. Because if I kill the Rat King and then get his heart... And then go into the training spot. Then it just starts the boss fight. Yeah, so I can't summon him yet. I can't do that just yet. I gotta upgrade. I gotta upgrade this. Ah, but I'm gonna be in the boss fight on round 30, dude. That's not good at all. Wait, hold on. What round was I in the boss fight in the first attempt? When I knew nothing about this entire Easter egg. I was, on, I was in the boss fight on 27, people. Ah, uh, not good, not good, I'm going too slow, because I just did the symbols and everything on an earlier round in the first vid, and obviously I'm not even going to get close to the amount of kills with this shuriken, or with this activation, you know what dude, screw it, I'm going, to, I'm spoiling the Rat King right now. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, dude. I do not care. For some reason, the gourds aren't spawned in anyways, so yeah. Screw it. Now is he? Yeah, they're all coming from right down here. Oh yeah, and then hopefully I get a max ammo soon, too. Come on, ninjas. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I need to at least use the Volkir on the zombies. That way, uh, I have Mauler ammo. What was that? I don't know if I've ever seen him do that attack. I don't even know what that was. Looked like electricity, dude. Oh, ninja time. On, Rat King. More ninjas. He's dead. You he should be dead. Right? Apparently not. Oh, he's dead now. Beautiful. Yeah, I need a max ammo before I feel comfortable going in this boss fight. I really, really need max ammo. Oh, wait, do I... Hold on. What happens now? What do I need to do? There's something I need to do, right? Grab heart and then damage Rat King until he disappears. Use Chi on crates for perks. Well, I have the heart. What is it when you leave this area? Then Okay, yeah, I need a max ammo round badly. I really, really need a max ammo. Um, hmm, because obviously I could just buy ammo for the Volk, but Mauler, Mauler ammo is a problem right now, unless I can get a bunch of pouches from these guys, which there's one, extra 180 shots, and I'm pretty sure once I return to that training area, uh, come on, ammo clip, I'm pretty sure the boss fight starts. Frags don't. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't want those because I got the heart. Um. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm, I, I, should I wait for a max ammo round or what? in this amount of time I could try to upgrade my chi more ammo means more dead. when was the last max ammo round was it 24 or 25 I think it yeah it was 24 it was 24 I remember so hopefully I get one next round but then again oh my gosh these stupid ninjas oh my goodness man give me a break Thing is, on this map, it's, it's quite difficult to train because of the stupid way the map is designed. Compared to every other IW map, you can pretty much only train in one area. I guess besides Rave, Rave is kind of the same way, but you can pretty much only train in one area. And I hate that. I hate that. I hate being restricted to pretty much one area on the map. Like, look at these stupid ninjas, man. Like, why do they take so many bullets to kill when they do way literally at least twice as much damage as a normal zombie and they teleport away from you like how did they think that was balanced is what i want to know how did that i don't understand it man i don't understand how that passed inspection the ninja zombies i genuinely have no clue how those passed inspection but i gotta use my ability here and uh upgrade it at least one more time before the boss fight the thing is, is why does the shuriken take up so much of my charge if it's so bad? You know, like, only kills, like, one zombie per hit. Very rarely kills more than one zombie. It's hard to use, but yet it takes up so much of my charge so quickly. I don't, I don't understand it. Yes, thank you. We're going to the boss fight. End of the round, guys. We are. No matter what, we are. Oh, my goodness, dude. I didn't want to grab the max ammo until I shot more of the uh, mauler. You know what, though? Hold on. This thing kills everything, doesn't it? Okay, sometimes it does. Sometimes, man. Yeah, I don't want to use the mauler anymore. Oh, my gosh. Nope, have to because you got ninjas. Ruin the map single-handedly, man. It's like Beast from Beyond. Ruin two out of the five maps in IW Zombies. The ninja zombies do. <laughs> that is... That is some insane stuff right there. All right, though. Yeah, I'm going to use this because I'm going to buy ammo for this before the boss fight. Believe me, I really, really got to beat this today. What am I stuck on, man? What the heck was that? Car or something? I guess you kind of can train right here, but... Oh, another ninja zombie I hear. At least one more. Oh, two. Oh, three. Uh-huh. Oh, four. Oh, five. <laughs> like, people. I don't even know what to say that hasn't been said about this dang experience. Like, the ninja zombies just completely ruined, like I said, two maps in this, in this game. That's sad. That is sad. And they could be a cool enemy if they just weren't completely and utterly broken. Like, they shouldn't have as much health as they do, for one. Um, keep the teleporting, but just have them do the same amount of damage as a normal zombie. Like, what is the point of making them so overpowered? I just don't get it. And then when you respawn, why do they spawn in and kill you before you even have the chance to get revive back, you know? Like, I could, they could be so easily fixed, man. But whatever, it is what it is. All we can do is complain about him. Guys, here we go, though. We are going into the boss fight. So, yeah, the heart. We're going to do the heart one first. There's a heart, brain, and eye thing we got to do. So pick up heart and hold X in middle on symbol. Kill a zombie on each acid pool. Gong once complete. Damage Rat King again. So, yeah, we have to keep damaging the Rat King. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about this, guys. A little bit nervous about this. Yep, we'll pick up that. Okay. Oh, I don't have my gourd, though. I don't have my chi. Well, it's not upgraded anyways. Wait. Wait a second. What am I doing wrong here? I have the heart. Oh, I think... I'm assuming I gotta talk to Pam. Assuming that's just it. That has to be it. Because, yeah, she's gonna follow me into the boss fight, and she actually revives me, which is gonna help. 
Um, like she revived me like five times when I was trying to kill myself on purpose in the first vid. Together we shall end this nightmare. Okay. We should be good. So now, let's go down here. And it should be red now. Oh, I'm nervous, dude. I'm nervous. Yep. Here we go. Oh, man. Boss fights in this game are not easy. Okay, give me this. And then, yeah, I gotta just damage him as much as possible. Pam, where you at, my girl? Okay, there you are. Now, there better not be many ninja zombies in this. There better not be. That will ruin my week, honestly. Okay. Now, how many max ammo was I, am I going to get during this boss fight is the question. Oh, there's Pam. Thought she was a ninja zombie at first. Alright, so yeah, there we go. We have all three of them. We have all three. I'm going to do heart first because that's the that's what I had in the tutorial I was looking at. I forgot whose tutorial I was watching. So, hold X on symbol in the middle, I think. Yep, there we go. Okay, so... Wait, are these all the acid pools? Why are there so many? Am I going crazy? Because there seems like there's a lot of acid pools I gotta do. Okay. But we are getting rid of them. We are getting rid of them. And remember, I'm doing this one first because apparently it's the hardest one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The acid does damage to me. Quickly. It doesn't give me much time to stand on it. What is the symbol doing on the ground, though? Dang it, dude. Okay, I'm nervous about the acid killing me is what I'm nervous about. At, okay, Rat King's back. Dang it, dude. Did I get that one done? I think I did. There we go. Nice. We just saw it disappear. Wait, no. Rat King... Okay, I just hit him, so he's probably coming for me now. Wait, why is there more a why is there more acid pools now? Wait, huh? You gotta be this bet. I swear to you, if this is time based, it can't be time based because the acid kills you. It can't be time based, dude. There's no way this is time based. Oh my freaking! If I die here, man. If I die here. Like, I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Oh my gosh, man. It's because they keep dropping down. Right where I'm standing. Close. What? Okay, what is this symbol right here? What is that Rat King symbol? What am I missing here, dude? Like, I have to do this in a specific amount of time, don't I? Thing is, is there's not even enough zombies to do that because they spawn in slowly. Will you just die already? So this is time-based. Really? Oh, I hate time-based things, especially when this stupid acid kills me. Like, how did they think that was balanced is what I want to know. Like, how, dude? How? I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. If I fail this time, I'm going to go nuts. Like, you can only stand on it for, like, two seconds, and then you'll get killed. Oh, my gosh. I'm doing the best I can do right now, man. And, like, the thing is, it's probably not good enough. And that's a very, very scary thought. Come on, zombie. Quit your frickin' standing up animation and get over here, man. Oh, my gosh, dude. I can see why this is the hardest one. Definitely. So what the frick happens when I run out of ammo, huh? Because I'm gonna. 
And I'm gonna run out of ammo at this freaking rate. Like, I don't understand what you're supposed to do here if you just keep taking damage on the acid. Like, I do not like this step. Ah, oh, jeez, dude. Okay, I'm, I think I'm getting faster and faster at it, though. Thing is, though, is it kills you so quickly. Ah. Uh. Dude, how is it... <sighs> okay, I think it's time-based from when Willard laughs. So... The timer starts when he when he starts laughing. And when it resets. Pretty sure at least. Not from when you actually get your first acid pool destroyed. Um I don't have to be standing on it. I don't have to be standing on it, do I? Nope, I don't have to be. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. Still don't think I'm going to get it. Yeah, you fr You don't get time! You do not have enough time to do this, man. I swear. Think about this. I'm using the best gun in the game, people. One of the best guns in Zombies history and why aren't the zombies running when this is freaking timed? Look at it. Why do they stop running? I don't understand that. They should all be constantly running in this. Like, yeah, I'm not even... You know what? I just... Yeah. I... I there's nothing I can do. Nothing I can freaking do. This is designed so poorly, man. If they literally just gave you like 10 extra seconds, I would have... It would have been done. This would have been done already. You know what should happen? Each acid pool you get done. Apparently there apparently I missed one there. Like what the frick? How did I not get it done there is what I would love to know, Infinity Ward. I would love to know how I didn't get it done there. I thought I got it done there. I really did. You gotta be kidding me, man. Unbelievable. Why am I not doing anything right now? Because what's the point? There's not enough time. Okay? There's just not enough time. It's just gonna reset anyways. I'm pretty sure. Like, this is just... This is a very, very, very brain dead thing to put in a boss fight because here's the thing if you run out of ammo like i'm not getting consistent max ammos or even ammo clips here man what do you do what am i supposed to do when i run out of ammo completely what am i supposed to do huh like i okay i could try to use this won't do anything though because i don't have it upgraded you know like hold on let's see oh my gosh get these freaking shurikens out of here it's so garbage man Snake rank two. Okay, so can I use the other gourds? Of course I can't. Why? Because we're in the same round. That's why. That's off, man. This is so stupid. Like, this is genuinely brain dead. Let's try it again, though, huh? Let's try it again, everybody. not gonna get it like you have to be i swear this would be easier in co-op no i know this would be easier in co-op unless you just get way less time to do it i don't see how you could get less time than this though i really really don't and then he laughs again literally it seems like what he's doing it, it seems like i'm getting less and less time doesn't it doesn't it seem like I'm getting less and less time each freaking time he laughs? Each time I try this? Seems like it's getting harder and harder. Why? Why is that? Get the frick on there, man. 
Oh my gosh. And then you gotta freaking reload constantly. I don't see how this is possible. I don't. I don't see how this is even possible, guys. This is a very, very stupid Easter egg boss fight freaking step. It just is. There you go! Starts laughing! Well, I got one more, huh, dude? One more! Isn't that correct? Didn't I have that one more to do? One more, right? One freaking more. You better give me ammo or something. I don't even give... I don't even care anymore, man. I don't even care. Oh, I appreciate the gourd, though. I really appreciate the freaking gourd instead of the max ammo. Uh-huh. Yep, I have the gun with the most amount of ammo in the entire game, but yet I'm almost out of ammo because of this brain dead step. Yeah. Freaking insane, dude. Like, this is... I can't believe how stupid this is. You don't get enough time to do this. You don't. If I fail this today because I run out of ammo, do you understand how freaking crazy I'm gonna go? Again, why are zombies walking? Come on! Come on! Frickin' my goodness, man! I better beat this today. I cannot do that again. Nope. Because I probably wouldn't even get the Molar Sentinel next time. I gotta beat this today. Holy j- That was so dang stupid, dude. You can tell it was my first time doing it. What the frick is this? What the frick is this now, man? Oh, if I die because of ninjas? Do you understand how mental I'm going to go if I die because of ninjas after that? What is this, man? Oh, yeah. This is easily the worst Easter egg I've ever done. This is this is the, this is it right here, people. This is it. Broken game. Holy. Okay, well, you know what? That is why I did that one first. I'm glad because there's no way nothing is going to even come close. Why is he spawning in more freaking ninjas after I just killed 15 of them? I'm dead. Hey, Pam, I really appreciate your help here. All right, so hold on. Do I just have to damage him right now? Activate and allow blue-eyed zombies to be attracted to brain and wait until Rat King returns. Damage again. Activate and allow blue-eyed zombies to be active. So what do I, I do? Nothing? Huh? Whatever, dude. I don't understand it, dude. I don't know. Just give me the soul key already. Give me the soul key. That's what I need. Yeah, I think I gotta kill him. Why, dude? Are you freaking insane? So, I have to kill him while all these ninjas are out? You can't. You t Bro, I don't... This... I gotta be honest with you. Okay, thank you, Pam. You killed the freaking ninja zombie. Wow, I appreciate that. You killed the ninja zombie after 10 minutes. A ninja zombie. Appreciate it. Okay, I got the brain. And why do the ninjas not despawn after I get the brain, huh? Why? I'll tell you why. Because they wanted this to be way too difficult. Like, they made this way too difficult, man. I just... I Whatever. Whatever. There's another ninja still. Give me the brain. Okay. What is the Rat King doing? Is he going to go away or do I have to do this? Does he go away again? Or is he... Why is he still here? I mean, I guess he can stay here as long as he's not spawning ninjas, which he's gonna spawn ninjas. Spoiler alert. What are the perks that I have in here? Oh, I gotta use my chi. I forgot. At least they give you perks in this, and they give you Pam to regenerate or to revive yourself, but bro, I just can't believe that acid thing. Like, that acid thing, it barely gives you even... Just... It barely gives you enough time to do it, you know? Wait, so what do I have to do? Do I have to kill the, the guys in there? Do I have to... What did I write down? Activate and allow blue-eyed zombies to be attracted to brain. Wait until Rat King returns. Damage again. I, do I have to kill the blue-eyed zombies in here? I mean, I'm assuming so. Like, I don't really uh, know what I'm doing here. 
Like, why is the rat... What is he doing? Are you telling me that I have to... Beat the Rat King, essentially, to these blue zombies? Is that what you're telling me? Or do I just kill the Rat King? What if I just kill the Rat King? Can you kill the Rat King? Because that's what I would like to do, but you probably can't do that. That's the thing. You probably can't. I better be able to, though. That's all I'm saying. Like, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to kill the Rat King when he's the boss. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to. Like, how does this... It, like, what am I supposed to... What am I doing right now? What am I supposed to be doing with these blue zombies, man? Just keep killing them like this? Okay, apparently I did it. Good. Give me these max ammos, man. Give me them. So now I need to damage him again, and then he'll spawn the eye, which is the final one, guys. It's the final one. Just wanted a clear shot at him. Look at that. He threw his shield at me like Fortnite. Cap shield. Okay, I got the uh, heart back. Man, I'm so close to beating this. I literally just have the, the easiest one left to do. Okay, you know what? Hold on. This is uh, this is tier 3 now. So I can do the chi power. Hold on. What was that? Was that, that was that was that jug? That's jug. That is jug for sure. And revive no way. And double tap no way. Those are the perfect perks. If I do down, those are the perfect perks, man. I cannot believe that. Last time, I, I didn't I get like two up and atoms or something like that? Wait, why is there a skeleton? Oh, it's from my chi, huh? Yeah, like I said, I haven't used this one in years. Okay, um... <laughs> look at the skeleton going after him. Alright, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just... Take him out. There we go. There's the eye. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So I have to scan and shoot symbols. Yep, okay. So everyone says this is the easiest one. So I have to scan with my eye that I got a long time ago, right? Or does it... Wait, did I even have to do that? I, I already saw the symbol. Do you even have to use the eye? Hold on, let me get another gourd. Yeah, you don't even have to, it doesn't look like. It, just, it scans every now and then. Or is Pam doing that? Pam's probably doing... Yeah, it looks like Pam's doing something. Oh, my goodness. This is hard, though, with um, with all these dang zombies. Also, this better not be timed. If this is timed, it can't be, though, because it's scanning at a normal rate, right? It's scanning. She's scanning. Yeah, this should not be timed. There's no way this is timed. Guys, there's uh, Infinity War. There's no way you make this timed. I think you've had enough on this map be timed in this boss fight, at least. Okay, got three that time. Come on. Hit it, man! Jeez, dude. There are a lot of symbols, man. It's done. It is done. I got my max ammo. Nice ninjas, though. Nice ninjas. Again, if I die from ninjas today, I'm literally going to go freaking insane, dude. Literally going to go insane. The ninjas ruined IW zombies. They did. Okay. Wait, I don't have to pick up the max ammo yet, it doesn't look like. I think it's permanent.
bro. The ninjas are so overpowered. They're so broken, dude. Appreciate it, Pam. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the ninjas. Look at this, man. How did they look at this? Play, if they even play tested this, how did they look at this and and be like, yeah, this is this is great. This is great game design. This really, really is great game design. How? This is the most easily the most challenging boss fight I've ever been in. Next, besides Gorod, easily. Okay, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start damaging Rat King because. Yeah, um, he's just gonna keep spawning ninjas if I don't, I think. Yeah, like, bro. The thing is, is he spawns, like, five ninjas every single time, dude. Oh, my lord. Look at all the frickin' ninjas. Infinity Ward. You guys... You guys are funny. You guys are... Lee Ross, you are a you're a funny little guy, huh? Oh, my. Okay, let me make sure I have this. Okay, so finish Rat King, pick up Soul Key and Katana in Dojo and Double Pap it. Okay. So all I need to do is just finish the Rat King. That's it. And... It really should not take that much longer with the Mauler here. Oh, and I can shoot while, um, while sprinting. I uh, gung-ho pretty much. Is that, what perk is that? Is that a perk that gives that, or is that automatically in the game? I can't remember. I, no, I think that's a perk that's doing that. Probably bang bangs. I can't remember, dude. Or maybe even racing strike. I thought I actually died there, but nope, it just throws me in a bad spot. possess the wisdom, strength, and courage to move forward on your journey. I present you with this token on behalf of all of those that remain imprisoned. May it serve you well on the journey ahead. Namaste. Damn, she was badass. Yeah, too bad she isn't coming along for the ride. All I know is if we catch her on the flip side, <laughs> I'm calling deal. Well, I guess it's time to grab that key and get the hell out of here. Oh, man, who the hell turned off all the color? <laughs> There's a thumbnail. Oh, that's a teaser for attack. I didn't even think of that. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that, dude? Guys, we ain't done just yet. 93,000 points. Pick up one piece of the soul key. It's done. It is done. Pest control. Beautiful. Recover one piece of the soul key. Now we just have normal ninja zombies. Okay, I probably... Oh, is that an insta-kill? I need that. I gotta get that. I have to get that insta-kill, dude. I need that insta-kill. Mow them down, man. Mow these dang ninjas down. Holy, dude. Oh, my goodness. Raymond, you said, bro, how long is this boss? I mean, it would have been a lot quicker if uh, if I would have know known what I was doing, you know? But, again, that's my first time ever attempting that boss fight, never doing it. And, like, actually doing it. You know, I made it to the boss fight, like I said, a couple days ago. But, um, I, I completely failed it, you know? Completely failed it. Because I didn't... I didn't I entered in on accident. I didn't even have any. I didn't have ammo. I didn't have a gun like the Mauler Sentinel. So yeah, this was technically my first time actually doing the boss fight, and I beat it. So that's good. It's just the Easter egg leading up to the boss fight is extremely difficult. And yeah, this Chi power is way way worse than the um than like all the other ones. Like this is way worse than Tiger and Dragon for sure. Like yeah, this one is much much worse. Because it spawns it, like, hold on. Like, what is it even doing? LB, I'm pressing LB. Uh, shouldn't there be a skeleton? Like there was? 
Like, what am I doing wrong here, man? What the heck is going on? It worked once. Bro. This is... I swear to you... Hold on. 1401 kills? I swear to you, this is broken. Another broken thing on the map. Because it... Oh, there we go. I don't know what it was just doing. Still hasn't killed anything, though. There we go. Finally killed the zombie. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, why? Why? Like, yeah, this G power, way, way worse than the other ones. So much worse, dude. So much worse. Tiger, I think, is, like, the best one because it has, like, that black hole. Wait, can the zombies kill my skeleton? Oh, my goodness. The snake one sucks, doesn't it? Snake is probably the worst one. Even, like, the ultimate ability, I don't think is that good on snake. Um, the crane one is really, really good. Um, but, yeah. Guys, we actually did it. I actually beat the Shaolin Shuffle Easter Egg. Got the cutscene. We're going to check out the achievements in a second. I want to leave a zombie. Okay, I wanted to leave a zombie, but um, yeah. So, hold on. Let me go to the dojo. I know I'm not going the right way, but I'm going to use this portal. And, oh, okay, good. It's a max ammo round. So, yeah, let me take this portal. And, guys, I think I can finally actually use the katana on this map. It's a shame that you have to do the Easter egg to, to get it. But yeah, I should be able to now. At least that's what I have written down on a piece of paper is get the katana and double tap it. Okay, maybe not. Why can't I grab it now? Huh? Literally, what am I doing wrong? I could not grab it there. It didn't give me the option. And I can't leave one of these guys. Nope. It didn't give me the ability to, but I still could get it. So it's free. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Oh my gosh, dude. There's a lot of these guys. Holy. How are there so many of them, man? Okay. Where the heck are they at? There we go, man. Holy. Yep. So all I have written down for step 22 is pick up soul key and katana in dojo and double pap it. So this is called the. Okay. I don't even want to pronounce that. Um, Kirisut Goman. I guess. I guess, dude. Kirisut Goman. So. Okay. It's a two hit. So yeah, it's terrible right now. Wait, how good is it against normal zombie though? Oh my gosh, can I fight a normal zombie there, Shaolin Shuffle? So it's a two knife. It's actually not bad. Look at this. A nut more ninja. Look at this, people! I'm dead. Why the frick are they able to spawn in this room, huh? Why? Who thought of that, man? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I don't have to play this map for the entire rest of the summer. I'm so glad, dude. I'm going to pat this thing. Um, ah, but I, I haven't tried it against a normal zombie, really, to see how powerful it is. Why are there crawlers, man? Oh my gosh, man. This freaking game. I swear, Infinity Ward, you freaking... Hey, Lee Ross, if you approved of these mother effing ninja zombies... Watch this. It might actually be game over right here. It might be. If the frickin' ninjas do what they always do and spawn in before I can get my perks back? I swear if I can't get Jug right now. For these mother effing ninjas spawn in, man. Do you see how overpowered the frickin' ninja zombies are? Like... They're just so broken! And it really pains me because this map and Beast from Beyond would actually be tolerable if the ninja zombies didn't exist they're not even tolerable with the ninjas i swear to you they're not man the maps are completely ruined by the ninjas okay so it looks like i can kill multiple zombies with one slice of this and it takes two hits 
I almost just got hit by a train. That would have been the icing on top, wouldn't it, guys? That would have been the cherry on top of today, wouldn't it have been, of doing this Easter egg, playing this map. That would have been the cherry on top, guys. My lord. Okay, so did I just hear another ninja? Why do I even ask that? Of course I did. Of course I did. You always just expect ninjas. Always when you're playing Shaolin and Beast. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Wait a second. Your weapon is fully upgraded. So I can upgrade it for 5k. My first time obviously ever doing this. And I've heard that this thing is really, really good. Spires of Hell. And then I thought you could upgrade it again. Wait, you can. It says 10k. Huh? It says 10k. Why can't I upgrade it? What? Um. Is it a one hit? Oh my goodness. Bro, this map is just so annoying, dude. Like, you just don't get a break, do you? This thing is sick, dude. This thing is sick. It's a two hit, but there's obviously a charged attack that I can do. I know there's a purple upgrade to this, and I guess that's double pat, but how the heck do you double pat? How do you double tap? Double pat? Because I actually want to know, because this could be the first day I ever double pat in this game. Yeah, look at that, dude. Wow. Is it worth doing the Easter egg for? I suppose. Um, since it's over now, you know. But, my goodness, it was painful, dude. Look at this. I might die again because of the mother effing ninja. I'm literally going to die again. Okay, I want to know. Genuinely want to know, Infinity Ward. Why? There are literally like freaking 15 ninjas at minimum spawning in per round now. Why? I want to know. Look up a video. Yeah, I'm gonna in a second, Raymond. I'm gonna look up a video. But... Like, why are there just so many ninjas, man? Like, it's just constant. It literally makes me sick because, dude, these maps would be so much better. Shaolin and Beast would be so much better. So much better, man. Oh my goodness. They'd be so much better. Without the ninjas. They're already hard enough. I don't see why you need to add these stupid ninjas. Like, keep the ninjas. Just balance them, man. That's the thing. Balance them. Hold on. Double tap on Shaolin Shuffle. Let's see here. Now, okay, I'm going to watch Milo's video. It should not be too difficult. If, I've, if I already did the Easter egg, then it shouldn't be difficult. Unless I need to get kills. So, let's see. Let's see what Milo says. Over to the Pack-A-Punch room, which I'm going to be going into now. You'll see that there's a button on the wall. If you press button on the wall. button, you activate a timer, and you then have about 20 seconds to get back to the Racing Stripes machine. The reason I told you to open those portals is that that's by far the quickest way to get back to the machine. But don't make the mistake that I made of taking the portal to get to Pack-A-Punch and to try and go back again because it'll be on a cooldown. Anyway... Go through the portal, and some fuses will be inside that little black box on the wall. If the box isn't open, it means that you haven't been quick enough. And I'm not sure there might be some reliance on you having done the Space Land Easter egg for this as well, because it's double pat. Not 100%, but best case scenario, you've mm. already done those Easter eggs anyway, and so you don't need to worry about that. Come to the subway and place those fuses that you've just picked up. On the subway tracks, as you can see, I'm doing in the gameplay here. Okay. Then wait around until you see the train come past. So the green lights will come. Hmm. On, the train will run over the fuses, and then you'll be able to pick them back up again. And as you can see, they'll be kind of, I guess, electrified in your inventory. They'll be charged up essentially. You'll then be able to go back to the pack a punch machine. Is that it? The room, that better be it. Again here, I just used the pack a punch because I'm an absolute melon, and so I had a little bit of a cool down and had to wait, but. That's all right. Go back into the Pack-A-Punch room, place the fuses inside the Pack-A-Punch, and then you're basically done. You can Pack-A-Punch as you normally would, and then double Pack-A-Punch as you normally would in the previous maps as well. Okay. Obviously, it costs more to double pack. It's 10k instead of the 5k. Okay. Um, so, it isn't necessarily uh, difficult or easy, per se, to do this, but, um... I should be able to do it. Like, it's not... It shouldn't be that bad. Uh, oh my gosh, man. Freaking ninja zombies, man. 
Uh, they're just constant, man. They're just simply constant. So apparently I click this button. And then I go through... Watch, the ninja will be here before I... Look, how... Why are the zombies already here, man? So then here's this. And then right there, yep, pick up the fuses. Then I have to go... Down to Bang Bangs, actually. And the train has to run over these, um... These fuses. Because they're not charged up yet. Um, okay. Yeah, let's try to do this. I really, really would love to double pap today because, again, I've never done it in any IW map. Uh, that's why it would have made more sense to do the Space Land Easter egg first, but that's just not what the wheel gave me. That's not what the random wheel gave me, man. It's not the order. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not buying quickies right now. I'm just going to go down this way, actually, to the train station. Ah, oh, get out of my way. Okay. Oh, the train just came through. Dang it, dude. Okay, so, hold on. I gotta place this right here. Yep, there we go. A fuses are placed. And... I love not being able to jump the frick up. Infinity Ward. I love that. I just love that. So, gotta wait for the train to come back through, which hopefully does not take long. Uh, because I don't like being in this area. Not one bit. You would think the katana would be better to get zombies out of my way with and just to run around with like I am right now, but it's really not. Because there's a cooldown on the green ability. Okay, here we go, though. Here we go. And I just heard a ninja. Dang it. Didn't kill those guys. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's done. It's done. Give me the fuses. Give me the fuses and get me the frick out of here, man. I got him. Okay, luckily I actually could jump up there that time. And let's see, can I get up the stairs? Like, do you see how chaotic this freaking map is, people? I'm dead. Maybe not. Katana actually got me through. Okay, this, I, oh my gosh, man. Such a stressful, stressful video. Okay, now, yup, install alien fuses. Oh boy. Guys, upgrading the Mauler Sentinel, the first gun I've ever double papped. What better gun to do it for? Look at that. Different pap name as well. Holy, it gets more ammo and everything. And let's see what this upgrades into, the purple version, guys. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe this. Feral Instinct. Guys, I've, oh, my goodness. This better be a one hit to zombies, though. Like, it has to be. Permanently. After what you have to do to get it. Wow. Yeah. This thing is good. This thing is good. It's fun to use. Has an epic effect right there with the wolf. Well, hold on. Let's go down here so you can see a little bit better. The only good training spot on the map. Um, What are these symbols still doing here, by the way? Like, what are these things doing here on the ground still? I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, that's there because of the heart. Okay. That, that's why that was there. All right. So, hold on. Um, when is this thing going to be recharged? Why doesn't it look recharged? Oh, there we go. Oh, is it based off of how many times you swing it, maybe? Oh, my goodness, dude. Wow. Wow, dude. Yep, it's worth doing the Easter egg for. It is worth it. It's only worth it, though. I'm only saying it's worth it because I just did it. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. I can't believe that. Didn't I get, like, three achievements there as well? I think I did. So, guys, that is pretty much going to be it. That is pretty much it. There's really no reason to continue playing. Uh, I guess I could go try to get... I mean, bang, ba or not bang, bangs, quickies again. Obviously, you move fast with this as well. It's uh, one knife against the uh, ninjas, which is great. My goodness, dude, the ninjas drive me insane. They really, really do. This will be the last time I play Shaolin Shuffle this summer for sure. I really don't want to play this map again for a long time, but I can see what everyone's talking about now when they say the Easter egg on this map is unbearable. It really, really is. It's a very, very annoying Easter egg, people. It is probably the worst Easter egg I've ever done. The boss fight was pretty cool. It's just the acid, 
Like, when you have to take out the acid, that is really, really difficult. Because you just don't have very much time to do it, of course. But I got it, you know, in the end, luckily. Uh, I barely had any ammo left, though, for the mauler. Wait a second. Ammo clip. Can you pick up an ammo clip for this? You can. I love that. You actually can. All right. And then, yeah, this kills an entire horde in one shot. It is amazing, dude. Look at that. Just goes through everything. Yeah, I can see what people... I've always seen people say that this thing is really, really good. And my goodness, it certainly is. Kills multiple zombies in one hit. I kind of don't want to stop using it. Like, I'm at least going to finish the rest of this round. Or if I die, then I'm just going to be done. But I don't really see how I could die with this thing. Like, look at this weapon, man. The thing is, though, is I don't think there's a way to just normally melee and prevent... Um, prevent the charged attack from happening, you know? Because the way the charged attack recharges is you melee more with it, I'm pretty sure. That's what it looks like. But, uh, oh, you know what? Hold on. I do want to try... Oh, not that. Not that. I wanted to try this again and try to upgrade it. How many more kills do I need, bro? Bro, 32 more. This thing is so bad. The chi power is so bad. Like, it spawns a skeleton that... I'm pretty sure it looks like the zombies can kill. So what's the point? Like, the skeleton is slow. Very, very slow. Like, look at this. Look how slow the skeleton is, man. What the heck? That's probably why there's no turn in this game. There's no brain rise because <laughs> they're not good. Like, look at this guy's coming after me. Like, what didn't, what didn't he just... Oh, I like how he killed the ninja. Just... Didn't even hesitate to take out the ninja out. Take that, take the ninja out, but... Okay, man, come on. Give me another ability. Give me another skeleton. I want to upgrade this to its max rank. I think I'm going to die here from the ninjas, though. Thing is, is, like, when you get hit twice by the ninjas, you pretty much just accept death, because what are you supposed to do, you know? Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. And it's because of a ninja. Watch. Ninja will spawn ahead of me. Watch this. Maybe not. Pick up the ammo clip, man. Holy. Where's another Gord at? Oh, I can't use it. I gotta wait till next round. Dang it, dude. Ah, man. Hmm. Well, you know what? Oh, I gotta try out the Mauler with, um being double papped i gotta try this thing out so obviously you get a different camo when you double pap in this game you get more ammo i hope you get a lot more damage but i'm not 100 percent sure because again i've never done it before but like i said different pap name more ammo new new camo uh it's cool it's definitely worth double papping in this game Although, I know on Spaceland, you actually do need to complete the Easter egg to double pap. This map, you don't have to complete the Easter egg, I don't think. Um, and clearly, you don't need to complete the Spaceland Easter egg either before you do it. Uh, all you need is to just do the fuse thing that I did a while ago now. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Katana, there we go. Holy... This weapon is crazy. Okay, so how good is it against zombies? One shot headshot. Actually, no. Yeah, it's like a one shot headshot on round 34. But then again, it's hard to tell though because the Mauler Sentinel was always that good. All right, guys. Um, it's just a max ammo round. Give me a gourd. Like, come on, man. It's not a max ammo round. All right. Well, this is gonna be an annoying round because I can't use the um, the katana too much. But yeah, I guess you can train here. It's just, obviously, why would you train here? Unless you're in co-op, I guess. And you don't all just want to train in the sewer area. And I'm dead. Just like freaking that. Just like that. You know why I died there? It's because I'm more focused on freaking trying to look for ninjas and seeing when the mother effing ninjas are going to spawn in than actually playing the game. Okay? So yeah. That's why I just died there. Where am I going, dude? Where am I going? Like, what is this guy doing, dude? Okay, well, um... Oh, yeah, and since I died, I lost my chi. You know what? F it. I'm not playing anymore. Only reason I was still playing is to, is to upgrade my snake ability. 
I'm not. Nope. Snake ability sucks anyways. It's the worst one anyways. There's nothing to show for it. It's just like a rapid melee attack. It's terrible. All right, so 200 kills already using this thing. It's good. You just gotta, obviously, you know, you need ammo for it. You definitely need to make sure you get a lot of ammo for this thing. Um, but yeah, it is, uh, it is really, really good. And very, very satisfying to use. Like, holy... And I'm pretty sure every time I play this map, I can buy the katana now for 10k points. Or is that only in director's cut? That might only be in director's cut, though. I'm not 100% sure, man. But yeah. Like, even if you don't have ammo, you get 130 points per melee kill with this. It's pretty dang good. But anyways, though, guys, that is going to be it. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Let's get exactly 2024. 20, look at that. Okay, we're ending it, guys. We're ending it at 2024 20, kills. The year I completed the Shaolin Shuffle Easter Egg and my first IW Zombies Easter Egg. Also, pack a punched or double pack for the first time ever. So, there you go. Tap the best weapon in the game. That is it, guys. There's nothing else to do. But there you go. I am so glad I beat this today. My goodness, dude. And in reality, I beat it close to like 20 minutes ago at least. At least 20 minutes ago, I beat the uh, boss fight and got the katana in the first place. But had to, had to, see, if I, had to see if I could double pack, you know, because like I said, I've never done it before. So, there you go. And now, if we look, actually, wait, is this going to look any different now? No, it doesn't look any different. Like, it doesn't BO3 when you uh, complete an Easter egg. But lobby music, nope, didn't unlock anything right there. Uh, so, soul challenges, though, I actually did unlock. Um, which one is it? It is Blade Master. Yep, Double Pap Katana. And then Double Pap Nunchucks. Yeah, how do you get those, though, is my question. I, I really don't know how you get those. I don't think you get them in the dojo. You'd expect to get them in, a, in the dojo, but I'm not too sure, man. Upgrade weapons in New York City. Kill the Rat King. Oh, I've done it one time. Yeah, so you have to kill him at, like, what, five times for that challenge, man? It's insane. Then again, you got to do the same thing for uh, the Krogzilla. But for Rave, it, I don't think you have to. Yeah, I don't think you have to kill the boss on Rave, do you? I still don't know how to get memory charms on that map. Um, I know on Spaceland, obviously, I've got all these done, so you definitely don't need to do the Easter egg for Spaceland. It's just, honestly, it's just like normal normal challenges, you know? It's not not too bad at all, actually. Yeah, these aren't even specific to Spaceland. They just are Spaceland-themed calling cards, but you don't have to play Spaceland to get them done. So, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Holy. Um, leaderboards? Wait. Uh, is there anything to check? Films? Highest scene 35. Oh, yeah, so that's my new highest round of Spaceland right there, guy. Or Shaolin. That is crazy. That is insane. Why does it say zero revives, but 10 for this and 104 for that? What does that mean? Oh, is it how many times I played co op? Is it co op revives? That's what it's got to be, huh? Has to be that. Wow, I played, yeah, I've played Attack more than I have any other map besides, obviously, Spaceland. I played just an insane amount. Okay, though, guys, that is, look at that, 23,000 kills with the Mauler compared to everything else. So, if we look here, Shaolin Solo, yeah, this isn't, this doesn't tell you Easter Egg stats, unfortunately. I kind of wish it did, because, um, yeah, I have officially completed my first Easter egg in Infinite Warfare Zombies, guys. So, let's check out the achievements I got. Yep, three achievements. So, I got Soul Brother. Collect all the newspaper clippings. Okay. And then, recover one piece of the soul key right there. Beautiful. And then, pack a punch the final weapon. Awesome, guys. Awesome. All right. So, there you have it. So, you know what that means, guys. Finally beat a challenge and i beat one of easily the hardest challenges of the entire summer the shaolin shuffle easter egg can finally erase the x that i have on here raymond gg yep i appreciate you staying in here and um stopping in to watch the stream man i know i was raging a little bit but if you're new here which you are um that's that's what i do i, I rage a lot but uh anyway so yeah five days ago i attempted shaolin easter egg for the first time like i said three hour failure even though i did get to the boss fight which is pretty good second attempt was terrible didn't even get to the boss fight and then again that was like three hours um and then yeah yesterday i failed archon for the for the third time and the day before obviously the second time so 
finally actually beat a challenge. I'm so, so glad, dude. This is not an easy Easter egg. My goodness, dude. This is the hardest Easter egg I have ever done for sure. Um, although Gorod Krovi did take me one extra attempt, the thing with Gorod is I kept dying in the boss fight. This map, I beat the boss fight first try. It was still difficult, but I beat it first try. And didn't down once, of course, which is pretty good. Even if I would have downed, though, I had Jug and, and Revive right there, which is awesome. But uh, very, very lucky. And then, yeah, but Gorod Krovi, the boss fight is definitely harder than this map. But everything else leading up to the boss fight, definitely easier on Gorod, I think. The Shaolin, man, this Easter egg is crazy. But uh, hey, I, I made the word today in one in one round, you know, first try, which was incredible. Morse code got first try, of course, and then um, symbols took me a little bit, but I still think I didn't I get them done on, in one round. I think I did. But anyways, let me go out my phone here and onto the wheel and delete the Shaolin Shuffle Easter egg, guys. Beautiful. So for the rest of the summer, the only Easter eggs I still have to do because we have 11 challenges total. But in terms of Easter eggs, I have to do Origins. Got to reattempt that and actually beat Origins, and then I have to reattempt and beat the Archon as well. And then I also got to reattempt, or no, I, I have to attempt the Zombies in Spaceland Easter egg for the first time. I've never attempted it before. I did get it from the wheel earlier, but man, I just, I was so focused on Shaolin. I'm so glad I got it done, man. I'm so glad I don't have to play this map. Am I doing a YouTube video? Yeah, man. My YouTube video, is, or my YouTube channel is um, MLG Squid, but it's also linked below the Twitch stream. So, yeah, that's uh, I upload these to YouTube the day after I stream them. So, Shaolin Shuffle Easter Egg is finally done. I don't ever have to worry about that thing again. I'm sure I'll do it again one day, just not for a long, 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 long time, people. But, yeah, anyways, Raymond, I appreciate you being in the stream, like I said. And, um, yeah, it is 1 a.m. for me, so I'm going to go eat and prepare for tomorrow's stream. Because tomorrow, hopefully I'll be streaming earlier in the day. I should be. I'm hoping to start at like 11, like tw noon at the latest. So, in less than 12 hours, obviously. And then, uh, I'm going to do a high round tomorrow. I'm going to do a high round. Probably not Shangri-La or 5, but either, yeah, Forsaken or Descent. I wouldn't mind trying Descent just because I want to, I really, really want to get that out of the way. I really do. But Forsaken wouldn't be too bad, I don't think, because it's Cold War, of course. But I'm going to at least go for round 76 in that. Exfil on 76, either 76 or 101, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, see you guys in the next one. We finally did it. I cannot believe that, but it is done. Yeah, very, very difficult Easter egg. I really don't recommend you try this out yourself unless you, again, unless you really want a challenge and unless you think you can beat it because it is, it is difficult. It is really difficult, man. Believe me, like this Easter egg, Dead of the Night, Nine, and Ancient Evil were nothing compared to this. And this isn't even a Treyarch Easter egg. It's crazy. But anyways, see you guys tomorrow. And uh, yeah, like I said, I want to do a high round tomorrow. I'm definitely not doing an Easter egg for days because we did pretty much all Easter eggs this week. But yeah, anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.